graphics again. Motherfucker. All right. I think we're live, actually. All right. So, everyone, we're live, and there's another Red Titan uh, chat. And, uh, you know, this week we are going to go through mostly the San Diego Comic Con. Um, there's been loads and loads of uh, pieces shown there. So, um, we may not, we've probably ain't got time to show any of the actual other updates. So, uh, anyways, hello, Gio. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm not bad. I'm not bad at all. Cool. How's your week been? No, it's been all right, man. It's been a good week. Yeah, you know, things have been going. I've had a few clients. I've had things happening. Been busy. Mm. Here in the mitts. I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can't see shit. Been doing a little yeah. bit of sparring. Wow. Feel good for it. Wonderbar. This is wonderbar. So, yes. uh, and what what uh, what wonderful uh, gatherings have you had this week? Offerings. Offerings. What what have you had come into your collection this week? Well, this week was a great week just gone. So we got the um, we got the Deadpool in. So that was great. Got the Amray Perez Deadpool in, which is a fucking masterpiece. I'm absolutely delighted. Really happy with that. So that's come in. Uh, very happy. And uh, I've got Electro that will apparently be shipping probably within the next 24 hours. Wow. Sooner. So XM Electro is on the way. So. That's a big moment. I'm going to be very interested to see where that fucking thing fits, really, because I, ha I haven't seen it in person. Um, so I have no idea what I'm looking at. I have this. Um, I keep looking at the space I've left for it next to Carnage, my Carnage comic. And just before you get into that, listen, Jow, if you are watching, if you're watching, yes, do that trade. I only just got your message on Hangout saying, you know, about should you get that comic yet, bro? Trust me, the Carnage Comic Cat is a wonderful piece. Get it. If you can get it and get it for a good trade, get it. It's a great piece. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the little space, the space I've got next to the Carnage, thinking, yeah, it'll be fine. But every time I get a piece in, it's never fine. And what? Um, it's never fine. What space are you talking about? Your glass cabinet? Yeah, mm. my antique one. Yeah. An antique one that's like. It's about thirty. It's about thirty inches, I think, of internal space across. It's about thirty inches, yeah. and I'm fucking sure that that fucking electro is around twenty-two inches. So there's going to have to be, mm. you know, yeah, it's um, gonna to, it's about me thinks. Probably going to be tight, you know. They're going to be tight. <laughs> um, it is it is really wide. I don't think it's a problem uh, height wise, I, but actually, then again, no, actually, height, then again. Depth's what matters. Then again, those those things are quite wide. Uh, so I hide those pylons. Yeah. So mm. but, yeah, but the thing is, is that if you've got if you've got anything that's that's wide, what is important is that it's not too deep. Because if it's deep as well, then you're in really big trouble. Because yeah. then you've got no angle. You can't like move it and angle it better. So I'm hopeful that it's not going to be too deep. According to the measurements, it's not too deep. So I should be able to slightly angle it away from the carnage piece mm. and then have the carnage piece. So more they're more diagonal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm planning. Rather than it be like like this and then like this, I'm planning to go like that and then like that. <laughs> and hopefully that will that'll do the job. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I've seen it and I do remember being have quite a big footprint. I know that doesn't really help you, but uh, yeah, on <laughs> my cornflakes, man. Yeah, so um, yeah, that is quite it is quite quite big old big old footprint. How about you, anyway? What have you got? I'm just dragging some pictures across, actually, and I'm going to show. Um, Wonderbar. So uh, you know, we um, we did the we went. I went to George's house. He um he actually took delivery of our pieces and uh yeah we got the uh the aaron ray perez uh dead pool so we got like one each i got the uh cool. x-force version and uh geo he got the um uh the regular version Classic. uh so i don't know if you can see that on the screen if i click ah, there you go. That so that's, uh, that's a that's picture geo's one there so that's the red one uh we did a um yeah so we did the awesome. um uh the unboxing of the uh x-force version 
and that's the Xbox so that's my one we did the cool. unboxing of that uh we've done a review which i finished editing today i wasn't very happy with uh uh some of the color issues I had some color issues so i need to go back and uh uh fuck around with the color and we'll probably put it up at the end of the week um so i'm, yeah. re- I'm really happy with the review actually it came out quite nice yeah um, great it is, a, it is about half an hour long so uh <laughs> yeah it goes yeah. on quite a bit take, take a fucking chair <laughs> Take a chair and uh, make a really strong black coffee with about four sugars in it. It'll keep you awake. Uh, no, just kidding. Now, so uh, so that they came in. I um, I've been working nights and um, they are really, really, really boring. And um, I was kind of doing it because it was like overtime, and it was meant to be that I kind of did it and yeah. uh, saved some money. Um, yeah. yeah, that didn't really happen very well. Um, <laughs> So basically, let me see this. So that's your electro. Yeah, that's coming. Uh, I ordered the XM Punisher. Okay. So uh, I've got the XM Punisher coming in soon. No. Um, Do you know so, when? Oh, um, I don't know. I think it ships out uh, with your electro. Awesome. So that's great. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, I did order the custom head. I'll show the picture in a minute. Uh, and then also. Sunday night, I did one of my 12-hour night shifts. I come home and I was tired. I knew I was getting a parcel from Parcel Force, and they normally don't come until, like, 12, 1 o'clock. So I was thinking, oh, fuck, I've got to wait it up. Um, I got a knock on the door about mm. half past eight, and they delivered. Sweet. Um, they delivered my, my Wolverine helmet, which is from uh, <laughs> Taurus. Taurus Studios. And uh, I was mm. just laughing because of my picture coming up. Um, so basically, yeah, so I got it. On display, so all these pictures have gone well out of order. Dad, can damn it. So uh, it's lined. Uh, there you go. That was meant to be the first picture. And I'll yeah. put it in there with the premium format at the moment. It's great. It's um, good. Really well packaged. Uh, you know and that also, base? Go back to that. Oh. It, it does. It fits on my head perfectly. So yeah. <laughs> and George said I look really cock eyed in that, but that was me trying to look at the camera and then uh, kind of look at the camera. And then I've got this like thing in the middle of my nose I like, was looking at at the same time. So yeah. What you say? You know that thing there, that picture there that you've got there? It looks like the base is slightly risen, like the red. Is it rised? No, the black's risen. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I'm the sure. uh, the red is like uh, in, in, indented and the black is risen. Ah, that's cool. That looks really, that looks nice, man. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, but as I say, it fits on my head. I was going to put it on now, but I think my hair's a little bit wet, so I can't. Maybe I'll put it on at the end. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start, do you want to start filming some bat dad stuff do that uh, do Wolverine yeah. well the thing is is that's not you know that's quite expensive so I don't really want to put that on because I'll chip it so yeah I won't be doing that um, yeah. but yeah that was uh, so where I was trying to um, save some money uh, yeah it didn't really work yeah idle hands man idle hands well, yeah, I mean, I had some uh, uh, some PayPal cash, I call it. and um, You always seem to have a bit of PayPal cash, to be honest, didn't you? Well, I did. I had some PayPal cash. So I thought to myself, I had it for a little while, actually. And I thought to myself, yeah, fuck it. I'll just, I'll, I've just i always wanted the Punisher. Um, uh, Michael Rialli got one, and uh, I was a bit jealous. So I thought, oh, fuck it, I'm going to go. And I got this custom head as well by Troy McDavid. It looks great. That custom head looks fucking crazy. I had to get it because about 10 people tagged me and said they looked like me. It doesn't look nothing like me, but I'll take that. <laughs> I'll have that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's funny. You look like every bearded, wookie looking motherfucker that they fucking oh, yeah. show. <laughs> Seems that way, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's been my, my kind of spending week. Um, Good week. Oh, actually, and I, Good week, and I forgot to say as well, I pre-ordered um, XM Carnage. So. Yeah, I don't like the look of that at all. Well, the thing is about XM is um, I didn't like a lot of the elements of um, Venom when I saw him. And um, there were just things about it I didn't like. Um, Then when it was in hand, uh, when I saw it first before I got it in hand, uh, a lot of those were... You know, I, I wasn't so bothered about a few things. And then I was about a couple of other things. And then when I get it in hand, hand or my, in my hand, I was like, yeah, it's fucking awesome. So, you know, with XM, I know that, you know, I ain't got 
I ain't got as much worry, really. So they yeah, sort things I mean, out. They, they do tweak it. They do, They definitely, definitely tweak it all the way through. Um, mm. So it's hoping. The um, only thing I really, really want them to take notice of is a few people are complaining about the print because they're using the tongue head in the print. Um, yeah. That is something I really, really dislike. Yeah. And I do really, really hope they change that head because that head on the print is the head that most people are saying to me that they're going to leave in the box. So if they put, if they leave that on the print, yeah. that's going to be probably, uh, probably a bit of annoying, annoyance because I'm hoping to get all my uh, XM prints framed. Uh, and I like, the, I like the switch outs. I like the pose. I like the base. I just, I just don't like the carnage. I don't like the eyes. I don't like the teeth. The teeth don't look very sharp and they look mm. all clumped together. Well, I don't then like again, the color. then again, I mean, with the um, the venom bust, you said um, the venom bust. You said Latif looked like maggot before you saw it. Before you saw it. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, I definitely need listen, with all pieces. I definitely, I definitely need to see it in hand. There's no that's with any piece before you. Uh, but obviously, when we are making these decisions about purchasing and not purchasing, the only things you can base on is the 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 hints and the Facebook stuff and maybe the odd, you know, snippets here or there. I mean, it's going to, it's going to be at the con. There's no doubt about it. It's going to be in Singapore coming up in September. So you're going to yeah. get to see it in person. So, you know what I mean? You'll, you'll, you'll see then and there, won't you? We'll get a lot more. I mean, there'll be loads to see there. So yeah. I've got right, loads of comments. Tra- so I got loads of comments as well coming through. Sorry. I was, uh, I was doing other stuff in the background. So I've been missing the comments at the moment. So uh, okay. yeah, we've got like uh, yeah, they've got someone play- someone's placing bets on uh, when you're going to roll your sleeves, George. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you've probably done it twenty times already. I've done it already. <laughs> Mate, listen, so, um, hard got, game. Um, stat, stat. Is it? How do you say it? Because it's like F, state, state. Yeah, our boy for stat, stat. for state, for state. It's yeah. not his real name anyway. I know. So. And uh, you got Dylan. Uh, yeah, got Bass Rod. Uh, got Nicholas. Uh, you've got Batman collector, Batman statue collector, uh, da, 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 Backer Man Ten, uh, Richard Melbourne, uh, nice da, 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 da. Top Banana Steve, Top Banana, Top Banana, <laughs> uh, David Muniz, uh, James Wallace, uh, da, 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 da. got quite a lot of people. Uh, so um, Nicholas is saying he's looking more forward to uh, Wonderfest coming up, which uh, there's been yes, things George is saying is about 120 Prime One statues there, so. It's going to be. I'm hearing that Prime One are going to have 120 pieces Thiago. on display. That is what I am hearing. So if that is the truth, that is that is going to be amazing. And that's another reason why we're doing this chat today. We could have done it on the weekend, but we thought people might just be a little bit fucking, you know, yeah. had enough of seeing what they're seeing. And more importantly, on top of that, you know, we have got to next week. We're going to have to do the pro- we're going to have to do the one fest one. So and uh, go yeah. through that. So better just make it, you know, make it in the right sort of time frame. Well, and also it took me quite a long time to kind of put some kind of uh, order to all the pictures. Uh, I was trying to edit the uh, Aaron Ray Press video. So, yeah, I had other stuff going on as well. And then also I was working fucking night shift. So, yeah, I'm going to say it again. Um, what else we got? <laughs> so, oh, yeah, James. And, yeah, that's not the premium format. That's uh, well, it's the premium format box for... Um, Cyclops, but he's actually got the um, the crow Narin kit in there. So uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, that Cyclops in at some point. Well, you should do soon. Should do soon. Hope so. Uh, model Vault. Uh, da, da, da. What piece are they talking about? So they're having a conversation. Maybe they're talking about Cyclops. Um, oh no no sorry I have the black black pound for waiting for four. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Richard said he didn't like the uh, Deadpool until we saw it up close on the four K uh, on the review and loved the detail. Uh, well that's that's the unboxing but anyway. <laughs> you've got the review yeah. coming up and uh, there is another uh, close up on there and pictures and things. Uh, but yeah there is the close up at the end of the unboxing. Um, yeah, it was a bit blurry, but uh, it was. I described it to George because George was a bit, you know, you stupid fucking idiot. You didn't sort the camera out, whatever else. And uh, I said to George, it was all strategic. And I used my little uh, uh, 
uh, analogy, and I said it's like Godzilla. Basically, it's like the new Godzilla film. This is this is what, this is why, and I knew George would appeal to this. So I said to him, "Look, what it is is in the new Godzilla film. You know, you see all these little clippets of Godzilla, and you're kind of like, shit. I want to see more. I want to see more. And then you don't. You don't see him for a long time. You see another little clip, and you're like, fucking hell, Godzilla's there. Ah, oh, shit, he's not. And that's what it was like in this review. It was like you saw a little arm, you saw a head, and then I went back to the blurry, blurry image." And then um, at the end of it, you see like the close ups all in 4K. You see all the close ups, you see them all glory. And then you got, you got all the excitement, just like in Godzilla, where you see him fucking fighting and fuck up the monster at the end. And that's why that's I said to George. Island, like, you need to watch that. Bro, you know that. Skull Island. To watch that. You need to watch it. It's good. I enjoyed it. Uh, I don't have any, any more. I, I've got about, about £500 left in PayPal cash, um, Richard. <laughs> uh, Tiago, so I'm just going through. Uh, Michael Campbell Williams, what's up? Uh, I'm just going through all these comments very quickly. Uh, blah blah blah. Da, 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 da. Uh, Carnage is available from. Uh, yeah, Carnage goes up for pre-order. I think on Friday, possibly. It's a hard one, that one, dude. It's just a hard uh, one. Steve Klein, uh, Kickass UK. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, Brendan Guerrero is watching. Man, it's good. It's got a good, got a full, we've got a good team at the moment. Hopefully, they can start throwing us some comments when we uh, when we get into. I the, got uh, watching as well. Yeah, mad love, bro. We need to get into the, uh, the San Diego thing, and then we can get a little bit of feedback from what people are saying. Yeah. So we'll have to maybe take a little bit of an intermittent break every now and then, see what's going in. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, that's the thing. Is, you know, I can't see the uh, the pictures and the comments at the same time. So uh, nah, you're gonna break and go back and just have a look and see what if any put any questions or whatever. Also, my brain don't work that that quick. So yeah. Uh, what we'll do yes. is actually, I'll tell you what. I maybe I can see the comments if I drag that window. If I drag that one. What did you think of the San Diego um, con? What did you reckon? Um. Well, I mean. We'll go on to, you know, the pieces that we like and stuff. But I, I think there was a lot of pieces. I think that the whole, um, you know, the main kind of uh, focus was on like one six. There was a lot of one six, a lot of really good one six as well. Yeah. Um, so for those kind of collectors, I mean, you know, they, they must have been well excited about it. Mm. But, you know, I think I think there was a lot. Uh, of good pieces. Mm. I mean, we, I, I said when I get the pictures up, we'll go on to them. Uh, mm. We'll go on to them as, as we do, uh, as we go through. So, where do you want to start? What do you mean? Where do you want to start? I mean, there's, we've got loads of, well, I've got, I've split them into company. So, I mean, we've got um, Blitzway. So, we've got Blitzway, then we've got um, a folder there with Elite Creature Collectibles. Uh, EFX Chronicles and HGC, so we can start with like the smaller companies and then work our way up. All right, try not to upset anybody in that fucking process. Jesus, what do you mean? Well, we'll start with the smaller companies and work, work our way up. Well, no, no, no whoever comes like... up now is going to be pissed off, isn't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant like you know, he's in, yeah, fuck off. Uh, you shit stirring <laughs> motherfucker, you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with um. <laughs> uh, let's start, let's See, start, let's start with uh, DC collectibles because they they were mostly figures anyway. So we'll go through this quick. Oh, we'll go through this quickly. These are mostly um, like smaller figures. So, I mean, we're going to probably uh, because we have so many pictures, we'll probably be speeding through a lot of this uh, until we get to the ones uh, like the sideshow ones or anything like that. So. Okay, go. Are you going to click oh. on my picture? Yeah, I'm on it, bro. I'm there. I'm with you. I'm all right. So this is uh, DC Collectibles. And... Um, oops. Direct from the source. That's good. There you go. So uh, these are like, uh, Harley Quinn, all pieces. So again, I mean, we're going to go through these quickly. So this is a small piece. This actually got quite a lot of love, this piece here. That's cool. Not too short of scale, but it got quite a lot. It did get quite a lot of love. Was it like one, one tenth, one eighth? Um, I'm not sure of that one, but yeah, it was, it was like, it was, it was probably one tenth, I think. Uh, then these little black and white ones, they got a lot of love as well. Yeah. 
I don't know who that character is. <laughs> oh, yeah, Spy vs. Spy, isn't it? And then you've got Black and White, white Batman. Man. There you go. So these are all the black and white, black and white ones in smaller figures here. Uh, again, I'm just going to go through these really quickly. So these are the... Um, these ones are quite popular as well. We've got Supergirl, Alfred. What the fuck is that? He's all that female. That's like a female version of Green Lantern, isn't it? Oh dear, they're doing that again, are they? And then, so these are these are all actual figures. I'm going to just speed through these really quickly because. Uh, Ooh, nice man. I mean, what are all these doing on here? Uh, well, I didn't really get a chance to to edit it all out. And plus, plus it was all like it's quite good just to show them quickly. So um, let's go through these. Actually, I think they're all figures. So maybe we shouldn't have shown collectibles direct <laughs> or DC direct or even. Um, Dang it! What the fuck is this that you're showing me here? All right, so let's stop showing that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, so. I should have fucking gone on with Brandon. I should have had Brandon on here. This shit wouldn't happen if Brandon was here. Fuck off, you cockeyed fuck. You're you and your fucking dick shaped head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna put me in your guard. Yeah. You're gonna put me in your guard. Your seventy gonna, kilo guard that I'm fucking snapping off. I'm gonna choke I'm gonna choke your cock shaped Punk. head. Um so then we've got Weta, which uh these these actually had quite a lot of pieces like Lord of the Rings and things. So these these were really yeah. cool. Um, and these sort of on kind of horse pieces were really popular. Um, so you got like that. I had the um, uh, the Gandalf on Shadow Facts, and it was really well done. Very well done. Is this this is wetter, yeah? Yeah, yeah. This is wetter. Lovely you stuff. Got that one where he's kind of on the uh, the big giant elk. That. I didn't see much of their stuff recently, but when I do see it, it fucking no, impresses I, me every time. I didn't see a lot of this on Facebook, to be honest with you, because there weren't a lot, and Lucky I found it online. But this, um, this is a one-third um, Gollum, and this looks amazing. It's fucking crazy, that is. Yeah, the eyes are really good. You got that there? It's got your ears. Yeah. It's got that there. It's really nice. Oh, look, it's with, uh, it's with uh, fucking thingy. Andy Circus. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. It's nice. All these pieces here. Okay, I don't know what a lot of these uh, sort of characters are. Um, so these smaller ones, quite cute. But there you go, got that one. That's um, is that Warg? No, uh, Borg. Sorry. Yeah. I have no idea. I can't remember. I ain't seen them films in time, man. I wasn't really a big fan of the um, um, the Hobbit ones. The Hobbit, the Hobbit ones, I just felt. Oh, wow. I felt they were. I need to watch them in 3D though. Yeah. Need to watch them again in 3D. I've got them. I want to watch them. I just felt like um, I had no attachment to the characters. When I watched like Lord of the Rings. What scale are these? What scale these are these? Are going to be one six. Uh, really fucking nice detail in some of mm. these, man. Yeah, that one. I love this. Yeah, that's. Uh, I've seen that's, this. That's as gone more. That one goes for big money. That's the same one. That's a really. I've seen that. I've seen a couple of reviews of that. I think I'll go uh, Amber Racy. Didn't she have that? Probably. She got everything, isn't she? Yeah. I've gone off the grey. Nice. Yeah. What they do as well is they do all these kind of like environmental ones as well. So these are the smaller ones, um, and then you have all the kind of environments like those. Oh, cool, man. I mean, they're very... I like them things. They're nice little things. They're almost like, you know, like people that collect tankards and other sort of shit. You know what I mean? Or dragons and all that sort of stuff. They've got, they're also got the uh, Scarlet Hanson Ghost in the Shell piece. I'm starting on the Ban Seam on the neck, eh? Uh... Oh, no, I just think it's just Shadow. It might just be Shadow. I was going to say, I can't see anything. I'm more worried about a fucking face, to be honest. Yeah. I watched the film the other day. Is actually, I, I didn't think it was that bad at all. There you go. There's um, uh, yeah, Ogrum cool. Doomhammer. I saw, I can't remember who made that. I saw recently somebody made that. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, there's one. Um, I know the one you're talking about. Um, fuck's sake. Who was that? Is it Damn Toys? Is it Damn Toys that done it? Or Damn Toys did a really good one. I think there's another company, I think, doing it as well. Um, well yeah, Damn Toys is really nice. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this one. What's this one? This is the mixture of uh, Chron Chronicle Collectibles. So this is more. There you go. So this one would actually be if uh, Brandon Guerrero was on here because he'd be showing this off because he loves all these. these. Well, at least the pictures be in the right fucking order and I'll be able to see what's going on. These ones are, you fucking cock munch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the uh, uh, Jurassic Park Lost World. <laughs> And then you got the uh, the Westworld one, which is really your, cool. Your, your insults with me just fucking make me laugh. I'm sure you make them up to make me laugh, so I don't get upset. I mean, you cock munch. Who calls another man cock munch? I mean, what? Well, it's that cock one. What I call you? I called you something the other day. I called dick splash. <laughs> yeah, dick splash is old school. <laughs> you called you called me you called me cock knock once. So I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's I think we were actually having an argument as well. I think, yeah, you, I think you, yeah, you'll be a dick about something, so I called you a cock bunch, and then you started laughing. Um, yeah, so this is from Westworld. This is really nice. Really Westworld? Cool. What's that? Well, there's, uh, they've just done a TV show of it, uh, Westworld, but it's like a, a film from the 70s where it's, I think it's like Yul Brenner's like a cowboy. Um, and what it is is people go... And that's mixed media, yeah? Huh? That's all mixed media, then. It looks That's it, all it looks mixed it. media, then. It looks it, yeah. It does, it does look it, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, nice. And basically, they they go on these like holidays. Right, rich people go to these holidays where I think there's like four worlds, and they can go to like Greek world, like a uh, uh, like with gladiators and stuff. I think then they can go to another world with oh, like okay. the the main one is the Western world. And what they do is that you you're yeah. you're like a like a cowboy, and Sweet. you can shoot. And you basically they got there's all all the um, all the other people are robots. All oh, right, okay. and uh, you kind of like it's like a role play thing. So you kind of like. Sweet. You 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 like living in like in a, in, a, in another life, and then this this uh, cowboy version, which is like your Brenner, he he kind of goes a bit bit more right. Uh, his wires go a bit wrong, and he starts trying to kill everyone. Oh, uh, sweet! And, and it's basically apparently is the character that they uh, based um, the Terminator off of. Oh sweet! I have to check it out. Come on it's in. Out, it's a bit outdated. Then you got Jurassic Park there as well. Nice baby raptors. Uh, there. I start for the end of the film, innit? No, I think so. I, I, I was like half asleep through that fucking film. It's all right. Yeah, it's the end of the film when the T Rex, the Raptors gang up on the uh, the other thing. Uh, there's the half scale Robocop bust. Uh, uh, little pieces. That's like the dead Triceratops from the first one, innit? Could be. Sick man, it isn't dead. It's sick. Don't oh, it? upset me. This one, this one, like they, yeah. they're doing the uh, um, Viking pieces as well. Dude, man, I love Vikings, bro. Oh, yeah. Ragnar. I've still not seen Vikings. You always remind me. You always remind me of Floki. Floki. That doesn't sound good. Uh, that looks like Death Dealer. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the Elite Creature Collectibles. Didn't know their slogan "Everything or Nothing." I didn't know that. Um, so you got that piece there, which I, I think actually Nenny, Nenny D is looking again. This. I can just imagine what Nenny D would fucking do to that. <laughs> Paint it, yeah. And the Freddy Krueger, which is he looks it's, fucking it's amazing. Kind of crazy. This looks really crazy. good. This and the Jason look really, really nice. Really yeah, but they get. I mean, they got this effect, didn't they, with the the Freddy on the base, where it's like you can see it's like a. You know, one of them, you know, one of them little the mirrors that you look into and you can like, yeah, yeah. see infinite. It's yeah. like that. It's like a, it's crazy. The light up that they've got on the base is mad. It's like you look mm. down there and it's, yeah. it's like pipes and fucking things that go on for fucking forever. Yeah, I've got, got a picture of it. Got a picture of that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I will do. Uh, you got Jason there, which uh, he was showing at the um, uh, Monster Palooza and he's very impressive as well. And yeah, man. Got the mask as well, which I can't remember what this is called. Fire skull. Mm. Very nice. When the stuff is, I mean, yeah, I mean I've, I've got the uh, the Giver bus down really? here uh, next to me. Uh, this is the uh, the Zoya Lord. I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of this. I won't, I won't, I won't be getting that. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm more of a fan of the uh, the anime than the actual yeah, yeah, uh, sure. movie. So I won't, I won't be buying that, but it does look very impressive. Um, also, I prefer 
personally, I I prefer the Prime One um, Guyver than well, this one. I just think this looks too too uh, static and just there's no, you know, it doesn't look very dynamic at all. Uh, it just looks a bit clunky. I know that's looks, what it looks. I know that's what it looks like in the film. Uh, it looks like he's saying I've been rejected by death to me. <laughs> yeah. Can't get that out of my fucking mind that bit. <laughs> But then, I mean, uh, I, I think it does look really nice, but I do think that the Prime 1 version, when... Uh, it's also quite, all... a nice, it's quite a nice touch to have a nod to both, isn't it? Like, if you have a quarter-scale, quarter um, you know, anime one, and you have the bust from the films, it's sort of like a little bit of a nod to both, which is good. Because, you know, yeah. when you were younger, you liked them both. Well, I preferred the anime a lot more. Yeah. I didn't say you preferred one to the other. I said, but you liked them both. You used to watch both from your little gay, don't lie. I did. I didn't like. What were you um, eating? It? It's like chocolate with rice krispies in it. Ah, oh, sounds great. I wish I had some. Yeah, my dad. Um, my dad came over like um, to drop off a load of shit last night, and um, he was in Spain, and uh, it's like some Spanish chocolate. I nicked it out of his car. So, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> was this spike? Yeah. Or is this from number two? This was, it looks like it's from two. This is number two, isn't it? Yeah, where he's got him in the printer, isn't he? Mm. So that is looks really nice as well. Ah, uh, there you go. There's, there's the base on that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Really, really yes. impressive. Though. I, I yeah. really like that. It's just. I mean, can you imagine that? that that's a one-third scale piece. Look how far yeah. that base comes out wide. I mean, you could fit three figures on that. Yeah, I mean, uh, you could probably fit more. I mean, that is a, a big, big base. Point. Look at that as well. You have like the grate on the front there. That lifts up. That grate lifts up, and you can see in it, and it's like a like a corridor, and he's standing at the back. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Just love it. Really. You've got to be tempted to just try and grab hold of one of these and just put it in like a different room, just have it somewhere else, like on its well, own. It costs like three grand. Does it? Fuck! Really? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it looks. I mean, like, um, yeah, if, if you're a horror fan and, you know, I mean, is it, it'll be better for someone in America to actually pick it up, but they don't ship to UK. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So you got to get middleman or routine gun in again. Yeah, um, you can probably get it through Collectibles Direct. Uh, they do really good payment plans. Um, but if I told my girlfriend I bought something for three grand, she would fucking remove my nuts. Dude, when do you ever tell her anything that's the fucking truth, you lying, bearded she knows, she knows, you? She knows she knows, what they cost. Does she know, really? Uh, <laughs> she, she knows mostly what they cost, you know? Um, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, God. James is my favourite, anyway. James is my favourite. I'm sure he, he's got his missus believing her, like, they're all, like, 50 quid or some shit. It's, like, priceless. Well, you've got to be careful, because he's, he's listening now. What's going to happen is he's going to be, like... Like mute, he's gonna, be, he's gonna be like, yeah, James. <laughs> talk about James's thing. He's gonna be like mute in his phone and panicking. Do you know when someone walks in when you're watching porn? It's gonna be yeah. like that. <laughs> you need to be aware. She needs to be aware that they cost like at least seventy five quid, not fifty quid. He's completely lying. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just realised there's loads of comments about me lying now. Um, <laughs> Where's oh Derek's complaining because he ain't answered his question. What is he talking? What was his question? Uh, how much have I missed? I don't, uh, when, I don't know when you messaged that, but uh, we've been going <laughs> for about that half hour. So yeah, we've got. Nah, it's just nothing, man. Alex decided to show us probably the only thing you'd want to see, to be honest, some figures and some other shit. <laughs> was yeah, I mean. Uh, Especially some of the stuff James got. I mean, he got that fucking century for crazy money. Anywho, um, was it expensive? Oh, we have to yeah, like I don't know. No, no, really. Uh, I think so. Wow. Yeah. Um, anyway, back to the point. Um, so yeah, there's the. Uh, I really like this as well. And I bet what they probably did was went out and fucking found some office, had all these old scanners, and just reused them. <laughs> got them to light up. <laughs> It'd be cheaper. It would be cheaper than casting it, making it, and all that bollocks. Definitely. Yeah. All right. There you go. It's amazing. This it's looks back crazy. Back to Jason. Back to Zoe Lord. Back to the Guyver. And then there you go. There's That's the like the Infinity top. Mirror. That's so good. That is. Love it, man. 
really love it. Love mm. the pose. Love them. It just looks great. I like it. Doesn't, it. The base actually doesn't look as big that way. It doesn't, does it? It doesn't. No, on, the, on that other photo. picture, it looks fucking massive. Look, look at fucking that. Huge. That picture, it looks ridiculously big. Yeah. That picture looks massive. And then on this one, it doesn't look as big. But still, I mean, if that's a third... I mean, that looks more like... If you look at it there, that looks like... Yeah. You know, like one of the Batman bases. Actually, that still looks bigger. Nah, it looks bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, it. Looks... Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> James is saying, it's "Yeah, don't." Quiet. James is saying, "Don't, don't rumble the, uh, don't rumble the game." <laughs> 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 and Derek is uh, people are commenting and saying about collecting dolls and collecting statues, and <laughs> Derek saying he loves his dolls and statues equally. He's a bike collector. Okay, that may have come out wrong. <laughs> that's what it, that's what you want to be. That's great, man. More power to there you. Go. There's the uh, close up on that Freddie as well. Look at his eyes. Oh, I love man. it. I've got to say that. I really do. It's a super, you know, it was one of my highlights of the con. Mm, really nice. I, I just could not uh, justify dropping that much money. Oh, get Happy. your hand in your pocket, you Hebrew fuck. There you go. Look at that. That is just absolutely fucking insane. That's just so clever as well. Mm. So clever because it's 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 a nod to so many things. Because when you're watching them films, it's like you're in a labyrinth in there and a fucking maze that goes on forever. And that's exactly yeah. what you feel when you look at that. You look like he's standing sort of, you know what I mean, over that fucking maze. It's just really good, really clever. Love it. Big time. <laughs> James is saying he's terrified that she has a fake profile on the Red Titan page and checks what's going on. <laughs> she's she's in there, James. She's our admin. Sorrel's, Sorrel's in. She's in the Ad Red Titan page. She's admin, man. She fucking knows. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's one of the mods. Yeah, we've got we've got her as admin on the BST page. So when you fucking sell and buy shit, she, <laughs> you know exactly where it is. She is on there, though, isn't she? I have no idea. I don't think uh, so. I'm not sure. All right, then he got the. Uh, he's going to go check now. <laughs> and then someone's just responded. Yes, James, I'm fucking watching. <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, Venice. Venice Serrant Mask, zero one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's that. Uh... Hey, babe. <laughs> there you go, there's Guyver again. So we go back. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't know why. I don't know what this is, but this looks like fucking Space Channel 5 or Stanley, whatever his name is, but I don't, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Seen that a thousand times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I've dragged them all in there. So you uh, go through, and then you got the effect stuff. So these are all more props and uh, helmets and masks, and whatever else. Sweet. Uh, so you've got Star Lord. Uh, you got the Thor. Really don't the, like that, uh, that helmet. I don't like the look of the film. I really don't I like, like the look I of the whole film. I, say that. I really don't either. Did you see? The ne well I think it's um, Necker made like a giant hammer. It's like yeah, it's yeah. like four one scale or something. So it's like not quarter scale. It's four one. So it's like I'm four really times. Hard. Yeah, it is massive. I think it was Necker. And you got the uh, Power Rangers. That's quite funny because um, um, PCS just got the license for that as well. Mm -hmm. And you got the ball from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Quite like that. That's nice. I'd like to have that. That's something I'd I'd have. And then you got the shields. Mm -hmm. I actually saw the King Arts shields, and King Arts had um, uh, like a dream sequence shield where it was all smashed, and that was really nice. And apparently, yeah, uh, Dis Disney yeah. wouldn't give them license. Of course, they won't. And then you got the uh, the hammer, the Harley Quinn hammer, and Black Panther mask. Sweet. I really don't. I really think that they they fucked up on this because that. Uh, putting that on that helmet, that head looks fucking horrible. It does, yeah. They should have just add it on a spike like the others are. Yeah, it looks really bad. And then the Iron Man there as well. Low key. Funny thing as well is um, uh, Taurus Studios actually are doing both of these characters as well. And they're, yeah. you know, they're much more reasonable priced. I mean, they actually just released uh, images of a low key. And it looks really That's nice. It. it looks it looks very very nice. I've got the Thor. I've got their Thor coming, and yeah. I'm hoping I'm hoping to wear that and stuff. 
I don't think it's going to hit you put on your fucking melon head. I really don't know. Are you going to carry on with that, are you? I'll tell you what. No, I didn't say big shit. Don't put me me in your guard, man. Please. (laughs) No, I'm fucking... You know what I mean? Jesus Christ. uh, You've got the Hollywood collectible stuff. So um, they do some really nice movie things. Uh, This is apparently uh, Hollywood collectibles, but uh, I heard it was by Elm Studios who did it for them. Elm Studios did the life-size alien egg for uh, Sideshow. And they're a Swedish company that do quite a lot of... Uh, yeah, lot of that fucking just feels fucking crap thing. Oh, you got... Uh, oh, yeah, trust Brendan. He always sticks up for you, doesn't he? Good boy, Brendan. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> he can't help having a big head. <laughs> That's what he said afterwards. <laughs> Stop making fun of Gio. He can't help having a big head. <laughs> can't be. You know, they, take them, um, they take them shots, man. That's what you need. You need a big, fat 20-inch neck. A nice big chunky head so that when people hit you with their pathetic pussy little hands, you know what I mean? It's all good. Uh Riali just stepped in. Yeah, if, if Riali hits you, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, it's a big fucking club of hands. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> right, you, got the alien. And then you've got the, um, the face hugger as well, which is really, really cool. I think that's a really yeah. cool piece. I love it. I love the look of it. on the tail or something? How's it? Yeah, it? yeah, it's all on the tail. That's that's terrifying, man. I'd swear to God, I'd, if I, my wife saw that, she'd die. She'd fucking die. Well, the thing about that is, like, the aliens are like um, kind of like cock shaped their heads, isn't it? Very phallic. And you then you got the uh, no, no, I'm not you this time. I'm talking about the aliens. And then um, you got the kind of uh, face huggers, which are meant to be like vaginas. So yeah. Okay. This is that's like, that's very, what, very fucking south term. No, that's now. what the HR guy got. Uh, thing is, isn't it? It's very sexual. Oh, it's all sexual stuff in it. But who's it? this? Looks crazy. I see mm. this. This looks mad. This thing. This is life size, isn't it? This it's is life size. Really big. Really big. Yeah, it's meant to be a pop of life size scale. I mean, you got uh, Slimer. Sure, it looks like one of my ex girlfriends. And then, uh, <laughs> then I wish I wish my one of my ex girlfriends looked like this. And you got the Jessica Alba, since he. Um, uh, what's it, Dadsy Carrigan? Don't like that at all. Well, yeah, could... looks very, looks very stiff, very unnatural. That don't like that at all. Mm. The renders, yeah, the actual uh, like... renders look really good. It's a shame. Yeah, that don't look nice. It just, that might just be the picture. Just look, it. I mean, that's very stiff. That whole thing yeah. just looks a bit like. Uh, and then you. Oh, this is... And uh, then you got the Edward Scissorhands hands prop, rec- prop, prop replicas, hmm? prop replicas, and then you got the ghost trap as well. So these are really really cool movie pieces. You got the um, oh fuck, what's his name? Um, uh, Sin City, Marv. Marv, that's it. Yeah, Marv. Thing is, with I don't like their figures, dude. Hmm. I don't like their figures at all. I don't think Edward Scissorhands looks good. He looks right. He looks because he's meant to look fuck. He's meant to look stiff. <laughs> <laughs> so they did a good job of him. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. A lot of people commented on this, and I don't know what this is. No idea. I don't know where it's from, anyway. <laughs> but a lot of people were saying, "Oh yeah, when I saw that when I was a kid, I was well scared." No, I don't know it, dude. I don't blame you for being scared, though. You got a little uh, chest buster. But they did one of those before. I'm sure they did. That looks cool, though. Mm. That's really cool. And then you know, there's a better picture of the face hugger there. So, look, that's really, really well done. If you're an alien <laughs> collector, I mean, Greg would definitely pick it up. Greg Bain. Yeah, it looks great. Are these these all available, though, right? You can buy all of these. Oh, yeah? okay. It's from uh, Night at the Museum. Ah. Night at the museum, like the the film ben with Stiller, Ben Stiller. Yeah, yeah. and these well, these are really good. Yeah, these these Ghostbusters Amazing. are really good. Isn't this Blitzway though? No, no, no. This is them. These are the cooler scale ones, and Blitzway do the smaller ones. These look really good. Ah, mm, they do look nice. I like that, and that one looks really good as well. Yeah, I think they're the better ones. Of their of their pieces for sure. These ones look really nice. Yeah, very nice. And then you got the uh, the goggles. That's the last scissor hands. What? Ghostbusters. Th- them two and the scissor hands. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, so, 
I'm just doing, where am I? So come out of this, stop. Just need to go to the next set. I need to like figure out which ones I've done. And then you got the couple of Blitzway ones. Well, let's see their stuff. So uh, screen share, screen share. I'm really not. I'm, I'm really uh, seeing them. So you've got the Ecto-1, which is the uh, six scale, which is like massive. Oh, shit. The, uh, uh, the, uh, the Hearst. Yeah. You got That's that cool. there. This is it light is really, I'm, I'm assuming it does. I mean, I don't know 100%, yeah. but this this looks ridiculous. I don't, I don't even want to. I can see our boy. There you go. Lit up. Buying this. Well, I mean, it's it's big. Look how big that is. I mean, you can't see there, but there's a picture of a like a guy taking they're a picture. They're lit up 100%. There they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are, they are loud. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's massive. It's really big, but it looks really cool. It does look I great. Mean, if, you're a, if you're a Ghostbuster fan, I mean... This this is Ain't we all go Ghostbuster fans do. I am mean, a Ghostbuster fan, but I wouldn't buy it. Oh, I love I Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, watched, uh, I just I watched it on. Uh, you know, like it just come on like the other day, and yeah. I had like, a bit of time. I was like watching it, and were I was you, like, uh, "Were you perving over Sigourney Weaver again?" I never fancied her. I should have, but I never, I never liked her at all in anything. I saw a picture of her when she was younger. I never liked her. And, like my... um, it was a black and white picture of her. She looks too much like my mum anyway. She's like well with the frizzy hair and all that shit in that film. It's too similar <laughs> to my mother. It's like, nah. For people who don't know, when I was younger, George's mum from the back looked like Tina Turner. <laughs> yeah. I told her that the other day. She's like, oh, yeah, she's got great legs. I was like, oh, no, it's not, not what she's saying, mum, but never mind. Don't worry. <laughs> don't you worry yourself about it. She's only 20 years older than you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, only 20 years older and a completely different ethnicity. But yeah. It's fine. Don't, don't panic. It's, it's absolutely fine. So, yeah, that's... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm super impressed with this. And I know that... Um, don't blame Kevin and Delaney has got all these, um, uh, these six-car pieces on, on order. I think they're delayed a little bit. But, I mean, this car, you would need like a... I don't even know how you would even display it. Yeah, I've seen some of the um, six scale Batmobiles by Hot Toys, and they're fucking massive. They're yeah. big, and this looks much bigger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, super impressive. I ain't going to be big um, in Batmobile, is it? We saw the um, Marilyn Monroe, and she, she was super impressive. Super impressive. Probably one of the best female pieces we've seen. So we're now we're seeing this um, uh, Sharon Stone uh, basic incident now, piece. This, this, this particular is, film. You, if you borrowed the VHS from me, I can assure you that back in the day, yeah, it was you know, well, it like, got a bit glitchy around this moment. <laughs> yeah, it, it went well fuzzy. It was like uh, I can't remember what they're saying, but they're, they're asking her questions, aren't they? And all of a sudden, they're like uh, blah blah blah, asking her questions. And all of a sudden, it starts going, <laughs> the screen starts shaking all over the place. And I'm like, yeah, George, I didn't see the part, you know, where you told me she opens her legs and you can see everything. He goes, I couldn't see that. It goes well fucking fuzzy <laughs> on that bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you know people don't know they're born now the youth of the day they have blu-rays they can just pause that shit it's crystal zoom clear in as well yeah zoom in zoom out christ man i'd go blind <laughs> <laughs> well even on the when i had a uh, dvd player you could like pause and zoom in but what you had to do was you had to go like painfully you took like if you it would zoom in say um like default it would zoom in here and then you would have to press oh, up. No. You'd have to press up, and it would go like, like that, and then load. And you go up, and it would go and load, and it'd be like, oh, fuck's sake!" Yeah, by the by the time you do that, your mum's already come in. And the window's <laughs> gone. So yeah, I mean, I, she's back with his shopping. Yeah. It's over. I think though, this piece. This looks. I think this, this is going to be this really, really nice. I think it's very very nice. I think they're going to really. And they do. They do some really good mixed media. They use good materials. They, it, things look good. You know, they really do a good job of it. I mean, the Rocky Balboa one and another is another oh, yeah, one. Yeah. It's it's they, another stunning piece. Shit, it's still posted that. Yeah. Fuck. So that's on the list. That's on the list to post. There you go. Keep going through. I think it's, I think this is going to look great. I think this will be you know, one of the uh, sort of best looking female pieces. And I mean, their Marilyn Monroe looked 
proper proper good uh this is their own line uh this is the summoners and they got their own line sort of coming out so a lot of companies are doing this now and um i think these characters look pretty cool you know this is uh this is van krieger so uh so down there looks kind of a bit like fucking cross between lord of the rings and nightmare from uh, uh soul caliber oh look all that we that clear resin oh i didn't notice that's like a woman it's like a, a yeah. woman coming out of the water there like jesus wow the, deep, the details are impressive incredibly well, impressive. I, didn't, I didn't even because uh, i'm used to like looking at these on my phone i didn't even see that that detail on there so these these like um sort of souls or something coming out of the water he's taking souls it's got a little bit of a Ma oh. malavestros sort of Ma malavestros thing <laughs> You keep wanting to call him. Nice. You keep wanting to call him Malestros. Um, yeah, Malestros. I know, that's the sort of evil villain I'd be. But that's. Um, I, I'm, I'm quite impressed with that one. I didn't realize that was all like. I, I, so yeah, I just thought it was. It looks, some, it looks. It looks nice, man. I honestly thought you know, it was just, just like. A, um, I think it's very difficult because, you know, that for me, I don't buy pieces I have no hmm. nostalgia to. Yeah, just yeah. don't buy them. No matter how good the art is, I don't care. If there's no nostalgia, I don't buy it. That's just my personal thing. So yeah. for me, I can never invest in a piece like this. It's like the Call no, of the Dead I, stuff. I, I agree. I mean, I, stuff I, is insane. some amazing work, but I, I can't have it and take up a space because it's not really what I collect because I don't know what it is. I, know, I need I, to have attachment. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. But as I say, I mean, some people don't dude. Some people just buy because it looks great. They're like, mm. I think it looks fucking awesome. It's a piece of art. And you know, it's like people do collect art, and stick it on their walls and, and shit like that. And they they didn't fucking know the art. He didn't babysit them or any shit. There's no nostalgia there. They just yeah. like the art. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you. Everybody it's collects for sort of different reason. No, sure, sure. But as I say, I mean, uh, I had a conversation with an artist about it, and he was asking me about. Um, he sent me all these um, concepts he was he had for his image, and um, yeah. he basically said to me, "What do you think of these concepts?" So I said, "I." Oh, I like this one. I like that one. This reminds me of that. You know, this is kind of, you know, I can see where that's come from this and whatever else. And he goes, would you buy yeah. one? And I said, no. He goes, why not? And I said, again, same thing. I said, I, has to, I have to be, uh, has to be nostalgia attached to it for me to buy it. So, yeah, same. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That's impressive. Though. And then this is Kawad. Kawad. Oh, fucking crazy and all. So, yeah, these, these are really cool. Really cool pieces. It looks like something that, like from darkness. Yeah. Yeah. You got like all these things coming out of his chest as well. Look at that. Yeah, man. I see. Like this, like, it's got a little bit of um, what is it? Like the Christmas Carol sort of thing in it. That's got children and stuff in his ribs and all that in it. I see. It's a weird thing. Yeah. And then you got this one, which is yeah. Catacomb. This one is quite cool as well. It looks quite unique. They're quite unique looking fucking things. Mm. Now that's a cock head. Sort of. <laughs> and that one's actually at the con, this one. So that's it there. Oh, cool. Sweet. And uh, and then you've got this one. I don't know what that one's called. It's clever though, isn't it? It's smart. You cut out the middle man. You've got no license really to pay. Mm. Create your own art, your own monsters, your own world. And I'm you know what I mean? As well. Cool. And then you got the Hannibal Lecter from Science of Lambs. This is a one six piece. Nice figure. I bet I was happy with this. I did um, I really Kevin. liked um I really liked their Tyler Dead and they did Fight Club Tyler Dead and I think that looked really good. Uh, and yeah. this is the yeah, Hannibal Lecter, good. so you've got um this kind of version here. Hello, Baris. And then you got the uh, the one there that bites his nose off. Fly, fly, fly. That. that's the thing about it's these cool. is you, you probably would want like a couple of them so you can do all the fucking poses nah I mean, you just fucking you know people get them out and they mess about with them didn't they and set them up and leave them for like four months and then oh i'll just change it and do this that's, that's what's cool about that sort of shit you know yeah but i don't have the patience to change dude you don't have the patience to change your fucking like one head or your one arm or whatever no, the fuck no, i don't really <laughs> 
Uh, what else can we show? So I've done that one. I've done that one. I've done that one. All right, let's go on that one. All right, so. Typical Alex Vaganus. No, I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to you this time. Go fuck yourself. Yes. God damn it. Well, I'm glad you're just as vague to you as you are to me. Makes me feel better. Right. So then this is Iron Studios. Oh. So uh, these are the pieces which were just shown before. So they showed the Weapon X, the uh, days coming up to uh, Comic Con. I really, I, really, I really don't like this at all. No? No. Uh, I don't like Wonder the Weapon Woman? X at all. I, re I mean, it's funny actually because I really um, like this. It's the Weapon, like... Weapon X quarter scale, though. I have no idea. Just uh, I don't like the textures on it. I, I, it looks like a, it looks like a kit, and it actually looks like a bad one. That you know, there's a few that were done, and some of them actually look pretty nice, like the custom mm. stuff. And that actually, I mean, that's a bad picture, but I've, I've I just thought to myself, you know, it, you know, I, I, there are better customs of it. There are better custom versions of this piece than yeah. that, which is not what you you know. It's not ideal. I like the Wonder Woman though. I, I like the colours. Um, people was talking about the head being a bit toy like, like the helmet head, but she's got a really lovely switch out. Um, it's really nice. Cool. Uh, there you go. Yeah, the Wonder Woman. I like all the hands coming out the floor in the Wonder Woman. But we'll get to that. Yeah, of the base. Yeah. Uh, then you got colours. the uh, Wolverine this and uh, Juggernaut's diorama. <coughs> and then you got the Cool Scout Wolverine. That's quite happy. And there you go. There's the. Um, Wonder Woman. I think Cole Brandon's into this one. Yeah. Brandon Guerrero does like that one. Yeah, he's, he's, he likes some nice stuff. That's a nice piece. I, I, I quite like it. I've got no problem. I think it's quite cool. I like the base. I like the concept. Is it one third this and all? No, I think it's quarter. Is it? Oh, cool. I thought it was one third. Ah, it's quarter. That's cool. Uh, and you got the Wolverine. No. Okay, so you got the different heads there. So you got the classic head. I think the worry thing about this Wolverine, it looks good, like the switch outs and stuff like that. This, but the um, it's uh, it's very deep, man. Hmm. Looks deep as fuck. Oh, here's one. Uh, here's one What's third. That? Uh, Wonder Woman. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You are. Oh, thank you. Should have been listening to me instead of going. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what the is. Not seen that one. Doing this. Uh, and then you got this. This is wicked. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's all the uh, like. that's all the hands coming out. Demon. Like demon hands in it coming out from mm. hell. Very clever, very nice, lovely, lovely effect that. And the cape on the uh, yeah. Wonder Woman is mixed media. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, looks good. I like it, man. I, I like it, but there's a switch out head, and the switch out head is really nice on that yeah. on the on the piece. If I remember correctly, this looks cool as well. I'm, I'm, the Juggernaut versus Wolverine. I mean, you if you've got like the you know the Hulk one, or you know the, even the Spider Man Hulk one. Things like this, mm. they're just perfect. I mean, if you're getting into like diodes, a lot of collectors collect our armors, and they're, they're you know it's a great add to to get. I quite like it. Yeah. Like you know, like the action. What was it um, of it? Is it the gaming? I can't remember his name now. Do you know something gaming on uh, YouTube? He he used to collect yeah, all the armors. Suited, suited for gaming. Yeah. Suited for game. Yeah. Didn't he collect all the armors? Yeah, I mean the people collect. You know what I mean people collect all sort of different stuff i think you're thinking about uh what's his name the guy i used to have a good back and forth yeah, with all yeah, the time yeah he's not suited for gaming that hit the suited for gaming is not, not him no. the guy on youtube that i have a back furious gamer furious that's the one furious gamer yeah 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 Furious gamer he collects um yeah like dios and stuff that's exactly what i'm talking about is a sort of guy would probably dig that and this as well i mean this looks great mm. too this fucking well, this isn't Bang. one six, though. This is one Bang. fifth, isn't it? I think they're all one six, dude. Okay, that might be one fifth, though. Fuck, I don't know. I thought the scars are all over the fucking place. Uh, Wonder Woman's head. Got there. There's the Wolverine. There's another... As you can see He's... on this one, if you look in the background, you can see how deep he is, how far he's lunging forward. It's just like you know what I mean. That's what I mean. The problem with that, you see, is like I'm saying to you, the great thing about that, though, is is like I was saying earlier with Electro, is that if you look at it, it's very deep, yeah, but it's not very wide. Yeah. So yeah. what you can do with that piece, you can angle that and you can get it in a display, but you can't, if it's wide and deep, you're double fucked. You can't do anything. You can't turn the bitch because it's mm. just as bad either way. Yeah, there you go. I, do like that. I really like that a lot. 
It's really nice that. I'm not too sure about the Wolverine. Well, like, a, lot in the, the, are, the, a lot of people I are saying like, um, that uh, it's too you know, no, no, um, too fucking Juggernaut just looks like he's just standing there, so we have no momentum to his punch. No, I mean, I, I, I the, my, my problem would probably be with how thick that the um the, the Wolverine is. That mm. Wolverine reminds me of the one from. Do you remember? x-men children of the atom the game do you remember when we used to play that yeah, game yeah, yeah. and he was really stumpy but fucking so wide he looked almost like from the comics you remember saber yeah do you remember we fought it like a, a cyborg version of himself i think his name was saber mm. and he was like that he was really short and really fucking like ridiculously wide like a big square and that's what that wolverine looks like. i mean just look how thick his thigh is there the right thigh yeah i mean he looks like he's been injecting himself with sinful <laughs> Yeah, he does. It could be the angle. But could the, that be the angle a bit? Because the way... It could uh, be. That's what I mean. That's why you can never... But I just think if you look at him around his arms and thickness of his chest and thickness of his abdomen, he just looks very much like an unbelievably bulky son of a bitch. I think the mm. juggernaut looks exceptional. I love the yeah. juggernaut. Looks cool. Do you think he looks a bit static? I think you could probably say that, but it's hard, isn't it? Because I think what you've got there is him punching the ground and Wolverine sort of jumping into him. I think he probably looks more static because Wolverine's so mobile. Yeah. Mm. Okay. There's the Weapon X. Yeah, I don't like it. What don't you like about it? I I don't like it. I don't like the fact that it it the textures on it don't look finished mm. it just looks to me like it's a kit that's not been done by anybody that's particularly good which is not what i want to see um i don't i'm not like a, a big fan of that pose to be brutally honest i would like it looks very deep again it looks an overly deep piece um yeah i've seen a few kits of it man a, a few mm. kits of weapon there's some really weapon. nice kits yeah there are some nice work and i just think that you know you know it's it's a similar story, really. I don't really want to get into it because we haven't got to it yet, but it's a similar story with some certain other pieces. There are just a few <gasps> better renditions of it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I don't mean this is a pile of shit because that's not what I'm saying. What I mean is, is that if you're going to invest your money, there are other places that I would put it. If you were to give me your money and say, George, get me a Weapon X, I'd be like, okay, this is where I'd go. Do you understand? Yeah. And it wouldn't be here. And that's just how it is. But it's, you know? uh, no it, also, um, it also wouldn't be the, uh, the Wolverine one either. No. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Anywho. Um, and then this, this is the, uh, the black uh, version. Popular. The it's thing about, very well. well, the thing about it's this is there is very, um, uh, loads of talk about it because um, a lot of the people who bought the original one are a bit pissed off because this is a lot cheaper. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that so? This is considerably cheaper. Because I think... Yeah, but why? Was it something like the original one wasn't available in Sideshow? Or am I talking bullshit? Well, that's what we have a team for. Oh, I'm waiting for the comments to pop up. But let's, I think there was something the about the, the... I saw comments where people were saying about, oh, I like this one more, and the other ones were like, well, I got the original, why would I buy it? And then someone saying like, oh, well, this one's a lot cheaper, so this is the one for me. But for me, if I look at them both, I like I like the design of this one a lot more. Why? I like I just like I like the black suit. I like the um, I like all the Joker the graffiti yeah. all over it. Um, I, I just like I just like that. I prefer I think it looks better to me. Uh, preference, uh, and then also it's cheaper, Sweet. so I like that. Um, <laughs> you know, my, my Judah is going well, fucking right. Like, yeah. yeah. No, no, but I I, 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 I <laughs> a heim. Um so yeah, I do I do like the look of that one. But again, I can see why some people would be um a little annoyed about that. It's definitely if, if that's the case. The same sculpt, isn't it? There's been painted differently and basically been put out. A few yeah. maybe a few subtle changes here or there, but nothing. Yeah, and I can get that. I get why originally I mean I was like super pissed when the modern uh, PF Batman came out. Same. Sure. Even though it's it's an uh, an improvement in certain, in a lot of ways, it's still a bit like oh fuck. Mm. Ah, see, so your face looks good under that helmet. Oh wait a minute, who's that in the background? That's uh, 
Isn't that uh, Brian Deno? I don't know. That's a collector in the background. Is that, I think his name is Brian Deno. Yeah. <laughs> I recognise him. Okay. God. Um, anyway, sorry. Yeah, so then there's another angle there. There's another angle of him coming out. Paint looks a little better there. Colours look a bit better there. Yeah, the... colours look colours mm. look better. I mean, I think he's meant to be the texture's meant to be like hair. I just, I just don't like it. Yeah, I don't like that. Again, they've they've made him really. Sh I mean, Wolverine is short, but I don't think he's quite as stumpy as they sort of keep depicting him. Mm. All their Wolverines have got like a funny sort of, you know, they've got an overly thick, um, you know, body. Oh, is that what's that a pie? No, that's uh, for some reason um, uh, Premiere starting up. <laughs> I think I must have clicked it. You big fuck. God damn it. So let's wait for Premiere to stop. There we go. Let's close Premiere. We don't want you right now. Uh, and okay, let's go to the next one. So next. That's a, that's a big one for me, though. That Wolverine and Juggernaut, that's another highlight for me. Yeah, I um, I'm happy with that. Quite like that. I'm going to go. I'm going to go into Call of the Dead. Sweet. Um, I'm not sure if I want to pronounce all of these though, because I probably will get them wrong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so come back here, go here, go screen share, go there, go here, and then come over here so I can see what people are talking about. And there we go. That's old Steve, the Pathfinder. Yeah. Steve. <laughs> all right. So um. Again, these these all come up. These are these all pictures came up before as uh, little kind of teasers. So mm. uh, yeah, uh, I don't know why Derek's starting on you now. What's he what doing? Start, starting on me? Uh, I don't know. I just saw Geo equals XM Hall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it's come from. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Oh, Aaron Ray Press is in. Little late to the show, yeah. but glad I'm finally here. Greetings to all the members of the chat and amazing hosts. Uh, oh, thank you, Ben. Much respect. Thank you, Aaron. And then Derek, is anyone Any having on? Uh, what's, yeah. what's the exclusive for see the power rank? No, they can't see you. <laughs> oh. Uh, Yo, so you always say that they can't see me. When I watch it back, they can see me fine. They can see you in a little box. Yeah, that's what they can't, yeah. Um, so this is um, is it Shiv the Pathfinder? I know you yeah, Shiv. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, then this is Relic. Fuck yeah. hell. Ravlatch. Pablin. Ravlatch. I think Ravlatch, this, man. Yeah, this is the one I think they had a life-size bus for for a while. Uh, it does look really cool. Yeah. Um, Looks cool. Enough. So you got that. Uh, then you've yep. got another version of Shard. So, uh, yeah, you can say that one, right? Yeah, Shard, uh, Faith Bearer's Fury. And then, oops, skipped one there. Then you have this one, which is uh, Poxel the Scourge. This one looks really cool. Thing. Yeah, I do like the look of that one. What's that, Poxel? Huh? Poxel. Yes, I said. Yeah, Poxil, yeah. Uh, what's this one then? Galibab? Eyes of the Queen? Galibab, yeah. And this is one of my favourites. If this is the one I think, this is the one with the snake body. Yeah, I think so. Like uh, and then these are the life-size replica parts. I, I don't, personally, I don't know. Uh, this don't interest me, really. Yeah, yeah. I don't really know what you do with these. I mean, do you wear them? Can you wear them? Well, I was wearing the Wolverine one, and it was pretty cool. So, uh, you know, anywho. Uh, and then you got this one, which is the life-size bust, which I'm pretty sure they showed that quite a while ago, and it does look really impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I remember it. Uh, then this is... These are a smaller version, aren't they? These ones, we've, they've done the character, some of the same characters again, yeah. but they've made them smaller, no? 
Oh, I don't they're know. Slightly Did smaller, they? aren't they? I didn't know. I missed that. I'm pretty sure they are, dude. I think they're smaller. Hmm. Uh, then you've got shards on the Oh, then you've got this one as well, which looks fucking awesome. This is my favourite. Podium. Podium, the reincarnated, re reincarnated rage. This one's This one's not going to be crazy. cheap because this is called Marquette. So, yeah, that, that's give you a clue. It's fucking expensive. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's just going to lift the price. There you go. So that's I think this is one of the smaller ones, then, is it? No, I don't I'm not, No, not this one. Oh, okay. This one that I think is... Is, is not not one of them. Not that I'm not that I'm aware of. There was like I saw something on Sideshow Live where she uh, where Susan's basically showing the Court of the Dead thing, and she basically that the, there's three, uh, I think three new ones, and they're all together. And she basically says, you know, that they're a, I think she says they're a different size than the smaller ones. But mm. uh, if anybody knows, like, clarify obviously because we'd like to know. Because so much there was so much content over that con, man. It's so many words were said. So many things were mentioned. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I can't, my brain can't hold, you know, normally it's like 200 photos. I can just about do that with a few flaws. And now I'm trying to do a thousand. So yeah, the yeah. Uh, the, the the flaws are going to be um, adding up. Um, I don't know whose base that is. <laughs> That's someone's base. Um, That's, is that? Is that the Rage oh. guy? Could be, I can't see it. Yeah, it looks like it is, but I can't be 100% sure. Could be. Okay. Uh, and then you get the Melavestros, which again looks fucking amazing. Looks crazy, yeah. That, that I piece. mean, I'm, I'm, super, dude, I'm super impressed with this line. I'm not, there's no mm. bullshit. Honestly, every year this line just gets better and better. I just wish, like I said, I just wish that. I had a little, just some more. I wish I wasn't a collector that I had to be nostalgia because yeah, yeah. the art of some of this stuff is, is super impressive. And I'd love to have some of these pieces in my setup, but I just, I just don't know what they are. Yeah. And because I'm, a, because I'm now um, affected because I'm now older, it's, it's, it's very hard to like build new nostalgia with me. It's very mm. difficult. I'm much more, I'm much more cynical when I was a kid. Yeah. I like loads of crap. I mean, gummy bears. I fucking love gummy bears. Well, the funny Life. thing was, is um, we were talking about when you're kids and when you're an adult and stuff. And one of the funny things was, is um, when you, when I was a kid, I loved the uh, Wolverine and the X-Men cartoon, uh, the 93 the 90 or 94 X-Men cartoon. And uh, when I then watched it back, uh, probably about a year ago, I watched a few episodes. Um, I used to, originally I used to love Wolverine and think he was cool and think um, Cyclops was a total cunt. And then you watch it now, yeah. and you realise it's actually the other way around. Oh, you totally, realise that yeah. Cyclops it actually makes a lot of sense, and Wolverine is a dick. And it's just yeah. like it's really funny when you when you see it when you're younger, when you see it now, and you actually see the different uh, point yeah. of views. Yeah, it's yeah, like completely. Wolverine's a cock, and basically Wolverine's just trying to nick his girlfriend, nick his girlfriend, yeah. and disobey him, and yeah, not yeah. not not be a team player. But when you're younger, you're like Cyclops, man, get off his back. Yeah. He, just to, he just wants to fuck your woman in and like run around <laughs> and have fun and slash everybody. No problem. Oh yeah, right. Someone's <laughs> made a comment I I do quite like there. There you go. Um, would love to see some visionary statues with their holograms. That'd be fucking badass. Oh, that that is nostalgia, bro. That would be that was, badass. That was really I know. Like, pure like clear resin uh, statues would come with the actual people. Um, nah, that like, would be nah, like night, right? The knight sort of like a six scale piece, right? Or one fifth scale knight. And then in the background, the beast at like a quarter mm. scale size. Well, like the, what I, the, tell you, I tell you who would be the best people to do that is Somarts. Yeah. If Somarts yeah, if Somarts win. did a visionary line, that'd be fucking insane. The dude, wasn't it? Like an archer or something. There was a dude like well, no, an what it is is they uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What it is is they've got brain. their um, the pieces in their chest. So they'll have like the lion and whatever else. The, yeah. the leader has a lion. Uh, Le Leonidas. No, is his name Leonidas yeah. or Leonor Le Le Leonidas? You know that. It could be. No, it's, it might be Leonidas. No, it's like different, but like Leonidas. Um, but anyway, but they have those on the chest. But then what they also have is they've got like Bannon men as well. Stop. Who have the, who have the staffs stop. with the, the signs. And that's where the, uh, the yeah. archer guy comes out, I think, of one of those. Those big monsters. Yeah. Out there. 
Well, you could have it. You could have the statue, right, where you've got the lion coming mm. out of like the out of the knight's chest, sort of like jumping out of the chest, and then the the big fucking thing behind it. It'd be bad. You could smash that shit. I'd buy that. Yeah, I would buy that. Amazing. <sighs> See, that's the problem. Mm. Yeah, and you fucked. Well, the, the thing we the thing about visionaries though, it wasn't very popular. But well, so it was very popular. But what happened was, is the company that yeah. actually had the license. They um, they basically they did they did a season, and that, that was it. There's only one season, I think, of visuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is devastating, devastating news. Uh, right, and also, I don't like the head on this. Sorry, the original head on Shard. She's very sexy, even though she's got a big scar down her face, which is very attractive. It looks very good, but this one looks like she's taking a shit and she's constipated. Okay. <laughs> That's my. Uh, I like it. it's got a bit of aggression in it. I don't, I don't want to date her or anything, but yeah, I get what you're saying. She, I, yeah. I quite like the issue with that. Right, and then uh, that's that's another version of Shard. Jesus, how many versions of Shard are there? Right, so uh, again, yeah, yeah. Um, that might be the small one then. Okay. That could be. And then you go. There's death. Fucking nuts! That thing looks. That looks that mad. Really that, cool. that thing. Really, really cool. Fucking crazy. Uh, there's that. Uh, relic, 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 whatever his name is. Ravlach. Ravlach, you fuckhead. And you got this one. This looks fucking awesome. Steve. Steve. Oh, Stevie oh, boy. Steve. Yeah. With his little, <laughs> his little fucking. Steve. Uh, Steve. <laughs> with his. Uh, that's, uh, uh, I think that. I think that one's really, nice, really cool. That. Um, that is nice. That's and then you got her as well, which is uh, the one you were talking one. about. I don't know why I just really like this with the, the very, tone. Um, very like Medusa esque, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I've got a lot. I've got a thing for it. I dig it. You know, for me, if it was me and I um, I could just like put my OCD nostalgia fucking hat away and say, okay, I'd probably pick up this what the snake woman, that muscly odium dude, uh, you know, the molester guy. <laughs> The molester jester. <laughs> the molester jester, jester. the molester. Yeah. I'd, definitely have those, I'd definitely have those three, 100%, without fail. Mm. I'd buy them tomorrow. Malavestros is they really, really fucking cool. They really, yeah, him him and the muscle bound guy. This looks a big improvement on their first outing of this piece. Mm. This is what we reviewed. This looks looks Can we review this? Yeah, it's Valkyrie. we reviewed. This is. Um, is it Valkyrie? Yeah, I think it's Valkyrie. It's Valkyrie, yeah. yeah. This looks like a big step up, a big improvement. Mm. Um, yeah, that's nice. Love that. Love the, the, the screaming head and the fucking... And this the one, seven. look at that. that do you know what? For me, though, that is just too disgusting for me to have. <laughs> like the other dudes I'd have, that fucking thing freaks oh, me out. Oh, it's like um, the worst one's Red Death. Now, that Red Death thing's just gory. This thing, free, this thing, thing freaks me out a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Sounds yeah. stupid, but if that big odium dude of the blades and things come running at me, you know what I mean? I would be less worried than if this fucking thing like scuttered past me. I'd be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? If that thing come past me with his little spindly legs, even though I could like probably snap it in half, I'd just I'd still run. I'd be like, yeah, fuck this, I'm running. <laughs> I'm gone. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably run from all of them. Um, anyway, then you got the uh, odium. This would be. This would. And be this nice. has got this, Ol- this, right. this has got Olivetti's name all over it. I tell you, this is right up my street. Everything about this is the sort of thing I like. I mean, look, just look at that. Mm. Unbelievable. That. This is going to be um, big money. I'm telling you, this will be big money. Yeah, because they tagged right. it with. They tagged it as Marquette. So. Yeah. yeah. So you're looking at well over a G, before you even start. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's this right. T E Twister says uh, it looks like uh, Dark Crystal. That's right. It does look really nice, like that Dark Crystal. I'm trying, trying to think. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking terrifying, that thing. Uh, there you go. I'd rather have a muscly guy with the blades. I'd rather have a, have, have, a, have a tear up with him. Yeah, you ain't getting very far with him. Yeah, I might be, but you never know. He's only little. He's only about 30 inches. I'll, yeah. I'll give it a go. <laughs> he's still, I'll really. give you his 30 inches and still fuck me up big time. <laughs> Isn't it? If someone come running with me with that little spindly leg statue, I'd run. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, I like, I like, the rust on that looks amazing. 
uh, the detailing on this. I think um, this 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 is probably one of the probably the better pieces that were there uh, at, yeah. at the San Diego Comic Con. This piece is just like. I mean, uh, the, as I say, I'd love to see this. It was a massive hit. Um, listen, mm. it was a big highlight overall for that, Sideshow Collectibles. That bomb half of the mouth is very um, sort of Glenn and Del Toro-esque, uh, that is. Mm. You know, like in um, uh, like Pan's Labyrinth or, you know, something like that. Yeah. that is yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of face. Yeah. Really cool. Fuck me. I mean, that, back that, back, man, that guy is fucking, you know. He's doing pull-ups for days. T yeah. Twister says he's like Underworld Hulk. Hulk. Well, it's like um, yeah. Solomon Grundy. It, well, yeah, similarly, yeah. A little bit like that. Dead and rotting, isn't it? But just beastly, man. I just mm. love it. I love the sculpt a lot. I just the, the whole thing. That would be my pick-up if I could. One of my guilty pleasures. Yeah. I, swear. yeah. I think that's really nice. I'm, I'm super, super impressed with that. Um, I'd hate to, I'd hate to uh, imagine how big that is. Mm. It's a thirty, isn't it? Mm, well, yeah, yeah, could be bigger. It's a thirty player. That is, that's a, that's a, that's a thirty. For me, that looks like it's easy thirty inches. Mm. Top of that oh yeah, sorry, Derek. You're yeah in Hellboy with the um, uh, that that woman, the witch thing. It's got her kind of mouth. That's what yeah, that's what I'm thinking of as well. You know, the one who pulls the um, the blade out of him. So he has a blade in his in Hellboy. He has a blade right. in his heart, and it's kind of going into his heart. And then they have to go to that place that looks like Ireland, and they go in there, and, and they she she takes it out, and her mouth it looks like looks a bit like that as well. Anyway, uh, but yeah. yeah, so yeah, Solomon Grundy. Yeah. Is it. it like is that look like all sort of pus on his leg? All like infected and yeah, like obviously it looks like the arm is actually attached into his skin. Mm. So his armor is like embedded in his skin, like a turtle. Yeah, yeah. I, love, I think it looks crazy. Really oh, good. Uh, time for so it looks like a mouth was sore on as well. Yeah. The thing is with these things as well is, you know, it, it's really difficult, and you don't want to be the harbinger of fucking doom. But you know, these are proto. These are prototype pieces, mm. and that's the problem. You know, it needs to look like this when you get it in your hand. We can all sit here and come in our pants and say, yeah, this is great. This is fucking wonderful. Mm. And I want it. I buy it and I love it. And then every, then you get it through your door. And then all of a sudden, them colors have just bold and the yeah, detail yeah. is gone. And you and the material just looks cheap. And you're just like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. And that's the problem here. There's so many reference points now with these pieces. They need to be on point. Saito really need to make sure that they are. Hmm. on all of their pieces they need to make sure that this is how they're looking because you can just bring up a picture a reference and go this piece versus what you've got and it's very difficult and people can go oh well it's lighting and it's it's this that and the other but you know what if you believe that i got some magic beans to fucking sell you because it's got no, you know lighting is great but it doesn't it doesn't do as much as you wish it would do it yeah. can definitely elevate a piece but not not to the levels that these pieces look they need to make sure that they're on top of their factories in china they need to be qc and everything and making sure that their standards are really high when it comes through the door it needs to not just be a, like oh you know it's moving on to fucking san diego it's moving on to to london or it's moving on to zimbabwe it needs to be you know we need to look at this fucking stuff we need to make sure it's right before these collectors yeah, yeah. get it because it's becoming a running joke all over facebook everywhere People just, you know, people won't buy because they're worried that these things are just not going to look how they should. And that's that's saying something, because if you think about Alex, me and you were here last year, weren't we? Yeah. We did this whole thing last year and there wasn't as much cynicism as there is this year compared to it's not going to look like that. It's not going to be that good. Don't wait. Do you understand what I'm saying? Last year, it wasn't as 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 much spoke about as it is this year. So they really need to make sure they're delivering because eventually, if it continues the way it's been going, next year people are just going to completely eradicate it. They'll just be like, yeah, yeah. "I'm not even paying attention to well, that." Well, some people are saying, "Oh, you could just repaint it," but then uh, I agree with um, sort of Jay Chai and uh, statue collectors. Why would you spend, you know, that much money to get a piece if you have to then repaint it? I mean, it's all like it should be oh, the way no, that think, they're trying to sell it. If you went to get a car, if you, I mean, I know there's a different size, uh, scale of money, but 
if you buy a car and you go to the showroom and you look at the car and then you turn it turns up at your house and the paint's all scratched and the wheels are like fucking all scuffed and whatever else and you you know you're not you're going to ask for your money back you're not going to say you know oh okay that's the prototype yeah you know, it's just it, yeah. completely i mean let's the, the thing to say is is and this is this is true this year we have seen a marked improvement of the pieces from Sideshow Collectibles from last year. This year has been a big improvement. Lady Death, there's been loads of good pieces that me and you have seen this year that have come out spectacularly well, as good mm. as the prototypes that were shown. I mean, some of them are, are really, really up there. Red Sonya came out okay. Uh, I, will, I still, it's, yeah. Um, as you said that, as you said that, Titty Twister posted, uh, the biggest statue let down this year was Red Sonja. I got a full refund. Uh, yeah, as we I mean, just walked down. Yeah, I mean that's the thing that the sculpt on that piece, the sculpt, yeah, yeah, was magnificent and still is. But the paint was, you know, fifty percent what it should, what they promised you, and that was the big problem. But Captain Marvel came out okay, didn't she? She came out all right. Yeah, you yeah. know. I think that the uh, the Dark Phoenix, a lot of people were like ramming that down, like that's great, that's great. There's a lot of issues with that piece, personally. I don't quite think that's the hit everyone tries yeah, to tell you it is. Pissed. Yours is pissed. There's bubbles in the hair. There's loads of issues with seam problems. It's not a perfect piece. It, that you can't put that in the same category as like the Captain Marvel, the Lady Death, and there there has been, but there has been a lot of good pieces coming out of Sideshow. So we should be a little. Let's be more hopeful and and hope that that's going to be the case. I've jumped in there. I've given them, you know, fifteen, fifteen hundred dollars worth of my money um, for one piece, and I'm, I'm banking yeah. on that. If that comes in, you know, if that comes in great, then, I, you know, maybe, maybe the tide is changing. Maybe they're listening. You know. Yeah. Well, apparently, the allegedly the Thanos was uh, a production piece. Allegedly, yeah, but I've heard contradictory stories to that. A few, a few other well-known people have spoke to a few other well-known people in Sideshow and they have said, no, it's a production, but it's a, it's a prototype. Yeah. So, I mean, my problem is with that whole conversation is just that it's very early. Very, I mean, that piece is due out in January. To have a finished production piece available um, would purely mean that they've made another one and it's been highly checked out and looked after. I mean, you don't put... As a responsible business owner, you do not put a piece in the San Diego Comic Con that's going to be seen by millions of people, and you don't put just a shit one. You make sure that stuff is looking hot, otherwise it doesn't go on there. There's no doubt about it. So that's the thing to remember. You know, you're definitely not going to be seeing bad examples of pieces at this show, or at least you shouldn't, because they're smart. No? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not going to show it. Well, that's what I think. Yeah. But I mean, like I say, I hope that that's right. I hope, you know, it's not it's not like being cynical because I don't have it and I'm bitter that I don't have it and I want it to be crap. That's not the case. You know, the, the funny thing is with this is that obviously being in the position that we're in, we, you know, I can honestly say with my hand on my heart that I want everybody to be producing 100% of the best stuff because then I can buy with no worries and I can buy from everyone and I can use payment plans and I can, you know, buy from Asia and I can buy from America and I can buy from everywhere. And I'm not concerned. You know, I don't really, I don't care who is winning and who is losing. The more that are winning, the more pieces I'm going to buy that, you know, that's just the way it goes. So I really want, I really want that Thanos to be exceptional. I really want it to be everything that has been promised. And I hope that I think this, I, this is a funny thing because I was getting onto a point here when I started going off and sort of talking. <laughs> but I think my point was, is I think this Malavestros yeah, is yeah. meant to be a production piece. Mm. I think this specific piece is meant to be a production piece. Yeah. yeah. If that's wrong, or if anybody knows, comment, because obviously what else? that's why we're talking about that, because I was trying, what I was getting at was that we usually say every year how fucking it's not this, that, and the other. I do believe that that one is a production piece of fr from the factories because it's close to being you know coming out whatever mm. and that piece now if that's the case then the tides are shifting because that looks great oh it does this i mean this this picture here of it looks phenomenal i mean this this looks great this is the exclusive head i believe 
and um, yeah, that looks absolutely insane. Um, I mean, if that comes out looking like that, then you know that that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. That is what that's meant to be. I'm sure, like that is one of the ones one out without a doubt is the production piece. That is what collectors should receive. Yeah. So if that is the case. I saw last year's. I've looked at loads of pictures of this piece, and it looks it looks pretty damn fucking good. It looks so really good. Let's hope. Mm. Fingers crossed. Everybody's going to win. Let's 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 all remain positive. Yeah. There you go. There's the lineup. I don't know. <laughs> Line up there. There you go. There's your my snake bitch. <laughs> I I just like it. I just okay, there's all the other ones in the background. He's actually quite big. Jesus, I didn't realise he was that big. Massive, that fucking scarecrow thing. Jeez. I thought he was like a little fucking, little small one. Man, it looks amazing, man. That really does look good, man. Mm. I was expecting that to be like a little hunched over, you know, up to someone's waist or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Big. <laughs> there you go. So, there you go. There's the... Uh, What's that one called? That's, that's quite cool as well. I don't know. It's got, I'm not sure. And that's death. Look at the face on that. Look at that. Fucking hell. It's mad, that isn't it? Really this cool line, as well. Jeez. This line looks absolutely... I, you know, it looks next worldly. It really does. Mm, I like the look of that. And I'm glad it's not been a flash in the pan, you know, for the last couple of years they've been really trying Shit, to push that's this like, line. That's the life-size one, isn't it? That's the life-size death. Yeah, look, you said dude standing next to it. Is it? And the bottle of water. Oh, yeah. That's life size. <laughs> Fucking hell. Are they selling that? Yeah, they, they are, I think, yeah. There you go. So that's all those. Yeah, that's cool. That's my boyfriend there. Yeah, there's your new man toy. Well, he's. That's my bubba. I think, uh, I think possibly um, you're going to be his, <laughs> his toy. I think it'll be the other way around. Uh, I'll be the little spoon for me. I can handle it. <laughs> uh, don't want that one. 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 And close that one. I'm just closing all these windows. I've got about 100 windows open. Um, so we have um, got a load of small ones. So we've got all the hot toys and stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to see. What we've done, what I'm trying to do is, um, I'm just trying. Okay, if I do, so I'm talking to myself here again. You are. Do you want to look at? Do you want to look at any hot toys? Why would you ask me a question you already know the answer to? All right, we're going to show some hot toys, and because yeah. um, <laughs> there's a lot, but again, we are probably going to have to go through these really quickly. Uh, uh, it's just that the hot toys are very popular, so uh, we are going to have to. And they're very well done. It's just, you know, it's just I told you, uh, well, we, we've had requests to do it, and I did tell um, Derek, and I did tell uh, Kevin, I said to them, look, it's quite hard for us to get excited about hot toys because we, you know, we don't collect them, but we'll show them. You know, we'll, I we'll, we'll, lots, listen, I see lots of handsome guys, right? Loads of handsome guys. There's 191 hot toy pictures by and the way. I, so I, I, can, I can appreciate uh, like an attractive man, but I kind of like women, so I can't get excited about it. This is what hot toys are like for me. I can appreciate I like the, the way. Work. I like the way you weren't 100 percent certain. You said I kind of like women. Well, you know, <laughs> I, aesthetically, I love women. It's, it's a bit different. <laughs> right. So, uh, so you got Luke Skywalker and Endo version. Again, these are all the uh, teasers from uh, where they were Endo. posted. What did I say? Endo. Endo. Okay, there you got the Justice League pieces there. Uh, these are all sort of teasers that came up before. You got the uh, the Bow Batman, and you got the uh, Valorian, or whatever they're called, Val Valeria, Valerian. So this is that Cara Devine or whatever her name is. I just don't. I just find her quite annoying. Um, the major. And uh, there's those there. You got the classic Batman, who looks a bit weird. Looks terrible. And Maximus, who looks really fucking skinny. He needs to get to the fucking gym. Poor crow. Fucking Rations that fucker. 
Fucking been out there in the fighting <laughs> Germania, <laughs> starving his tits yeah. off in Germania. <laughs> uh, you got Captain Scarlet. This looks this really looks nice. Fucking crazy. This, yeah. This, 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 this is probably one of my favorite of the actual one six mm-hmm. pieces. Agree, hundred uh, percent with you. With really Bell. stood out. The head on this is really good. Um, you know, the yeah, clothes Mick, are really good. Exceptional. I love the face mm. holding his back out and all that with, with the blowing the whistle for the um, you know, his his weapon, his little bow thing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and you got the Anakin Skywalker. That looks good. Gamora. Not so much. Uh, Cyborg. Cool. I, I can't Wonder believe Woman. that they didn't make a quarter scale version of that, that no one capitalised on that. That, that was mm. a massive. That could have been huge, that piece. What's that? Cyborg? Cyborg, yeah. Well, the Flash. I mean, so many people are requesting a Flash, but then... Uh, Sideshow are like, yeah, we're going to wait to see what Prime One does, but they're waiting for Prime One to capitalize. But that's the thing is, like oh, previously, that, 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 that's that's not what it is. It's we're going to wait to see if how Prime One sells. Yeah, because if it sells well, then we'll jump on. If it doesn't sell so well, we'll probably pass. That's what that is. That's a, that's a business strategy. It's a business probably. strategy. That Prime right. One looks great, so I hope people go out there and buy that because I'd buy that shit. If I wanted it, I, I really like that Justice League from Prime One. I, I, I would buy it, all of them, to be honest. Right. Yeah. So then, uh, this Wonder Woman the face looks great on that. I think she looks really yeah. good. Yeah, it does. Uh, Stormtrooper. Cool. Uh, C-3PO with his red arm. There you got Batman. Got the Planet Hulk again. I just this this film. They just look like a boy band. And I just think that the uh, the Thor's weapon looks like what fucking music you're listening. To. No, just they, they're doing, they've all got, like they look all polished. They've all got a haircut like uh, in a certain way, and they've all like uh, Thor. And what's Thor got? He's got his fucking screwdriver in his hand or something. His weapon's terrible. I don't know. I can't, I can't get. I just didn't like the trailer. Was far mm. too jovial. Almost, I thought it was a piss take. I thought it was a joke. Yeah. which is not yeah. because Thor is actually. You know, I actually really like both of the Thor, of the Thor films, so I wasn't happy with that overly. Hmm. Uh, so you got Superman, the Batmobile. This thing's gonna be massive as well. Uh, there you go, the uh, Justice League. There, you got Flash. Yeah. You got no head. No. <laughs> Flash, you got no head. Clearly, that's not approved for licensing yet. <laughs> uh. So then you got the. Uh, Yondu looks really, really good. That face is really good. Exceptional, yeah. Wow, exceptional. that is super, super impressive, that one. Uh, and then this as well, the quarter scale Joker uh, hot toy. This, this, this is another level as well. This is great. Yeah, it just looked great. I like it. these. These two were my favorite, the kind of hot toy as well. Yeah, I think Yondu makes it for me. That's, that's the top bollocks for me. That looks mm. great with the coat open and all that. That Yondu one, that is just, that's fucking insane. Really mm. nice. Yeah, and you got the uh, ledger. Oh, sorry, the bayonet. Yeah, you know I mean his kind of wetsuit, and then you got him his bat suit again. This looks shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just don't like that woman. The woman annoys me. I don't even know what it is that you're showing me. I don't know who they are. This is a film. It's like a new like Luc Besson film. Um, and then yeah, also this this looks good as well. This is the. Um, uh, Deckard from uh, Blade Runner. This is uh, Sideshow's version. This looks quite Sweet. cool. Uh, this looks actually. This <laughs> looks good as well. Grandma Tarkin. That looks yeah. really nice. Some of them saying he looks like he's got big hands. Yeah, his hands definitely look big, didn't they? Yeah. I mean, it uh, then there's the salve there. If you look in Thor's hand, he looks like he's got one of those screwdrivers. <laughs> you see what, it? Like, what like a Phillips? Lips. Yeah, look at, well, look at the screwdriver, look. It's fucking, what's going on? It's like when you're a kid and you can't find the fucking weapons and you start, like, making making things up, you know? You go in the fucking, yeah, like you, you go in there, you're, 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 you're going there, like fucking pin and glue yeah, it. well, you go in there drawing the corner, in, in the kitchen that's full of shit and you just try and find something to use. <clears throat> yeah. uh, it looks terrible. And I just, oh, the power load looks pretty cool. And I just think like Loki looks like he's yeah. wearing his fucking pajamas. I just, I just don't like the uh, costumes in that film. I really don't like them. 
Um, yeah. Let's see if her face actually looks quite good because the last one was a bit ropey. Uh, it looks better, but yeah, hard to tell from that. Yeah, quite. Uh, good. Yeah, just I just don't. I think he just looks like he's wearing. Get your pajamas. It looks yeah. like well, he looks like he's like, like wearing some like, mechanic overalls or something. I don't know. He looks like he works for Quick Fit. <laughs> yeah, he does. And he's got his we fucking screwdrivers in his hand. Look. Go fucking go get your fucking sprocket set. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what's that what's on the side your fucking lunchbox gun Dan <laughs> hope your wife made you ham and eggs yeah. yeah there you go look how many fucking hands he comes with Jesus Christ loads of pieces look at these pieces I'd lose all them in a heartbeat yeah you would you totally would <laughs> Aquaman actually looks quite good yeah, it does. Looks great. Yeah. I saw the trailer. It's the fucking bollocks. The trailer looks great. I noticed they didn't do him in a throne. Mm. Anyway, um, moving on. Oh, he has got a head now. They found it. They found his head. You should have left it off. They gave him, looks yeah, like a durable. They gave him head. It looks like that fucking EFX stand where they, they put the fucking display on <laughs> for the Captain America one. Jesus. Yeah. It looks like they, um, it looks like they possibly ain't got, like, they ain't got his head done yet. It look, yeah, I think you're right. I think that's that doesn't look like the. There you go. Let's close it? up with the screwdriver, and then Hulk's got a fucking engine on the back of it. Look, damn. Uh, is that Helion? I think her name is Hela. Hela. Sorry, Hela. Yeah, she looks like she's in. She's fucking like an extra on Tron. I really, I mean, I really like the way that she looks in the film. Personally, yeah, that's yeah. my whole life. Well, her face is good. She's playing. She's playing it very, very well, which I, I kind of like. But I just, um, I, I hope that that film is not quite as jovial as it's played. It's quite a serious moment, right? Yeah. So I, I expect it to be treated as such. You're going to name it like that and it's going to be all jokey and shit. Yeah. I think it's going to be... Well, I think what they're doing is they're trying to make it so that it's a bit jokey and then it can kind of tie in nicely to fucking Guardians. Well, know. in fairness, that's exactly what happened with Guardians. We saw, everyone saw the trailers and just thought it looked fucking awful, looked too much of a joke. And mm. thankfully, when you saw the film, it's my favourite of all the Marvel films still. Oh, Guardians. I love Guardians. So yeah, it I just shows you that you can't really... I mean, if you remember when we first saw the trailer, we were like, oh, we don't want to watch that. And then it, you know, mm. we did. And it was like, yeah, we're a bunch of fucking idiots. Oh, yeah. It, was, oh, it is one of my favourites as well. So, yeah, definitely. Uh, another Iron Man. So this is... What's this? Mark 41. How many of these fucking things you got? I told you there's hundreds. That's why I said stop talking. Um, never right. <laughs> the Ghost Rider as well. They got the Hot Toys Ghost Rider and Spider Man. And then you got the uh, Mark Forty Seven, which I think is in Spider Man. Have you seen Spider Man yet? Are you talking to me? You said not to speak. Hurry up! Have you seen Spider Man yet? No, I ain't seen it. No. I think I thought. I fucking hope I've ordered it. And then life size uh, group. Yeah, I think I've ordered it. That's quite cute. And then you got the uh, the rocket there. James got good. the fucking the Groot today, and it's massive. I don't know. I couldn't tell from the pictures that I saw it. It looked like because it's at the forefront. No, he, I didn't... he sent no. He sent a picture to me, and it was next to um, modern Thor, yeah. and it dwarfed him. Dwarfed him big time. Modern Thor, like modern Thor, as in the Thor I have that's thirty inches tall. No, uh, the one I've got. You got classic four. Oh, sorry, I no, got a classic. Sorry, so oh, okay. Yeah, it was it so was that, like really big and wide. Yeah, look, I mean, it's got that with the tree trunk um, arm out. Yeah, it's, it looks quite good. That looks quite cool. I think that, they did a good Batman. job. That. It, looked, it looked pretty nice. That Batman looks quite cool. Yeah, I'm with Batman. I think that, that's another one to talk about. As in, with Sideshow doing a cracking job, was was Groot and Rocket. They both mm. look great. This looks great as well. So the uh, Wonder Woman there. That looks really nice. Training Wonder Woman. Uh, then you've got the uh, Batman line there. So, here you go there. Grandma Parkin, Anakin. Here you go. Let's go through these. I don't remember Boba Fett being blue. Nah, uh, me either. Might. Okay. Might be some special thing. And uh, these, these are in there, but I don't know who did these. Uh, if anyone's watching, who who did these Street Fighter pieces? Because I I was going through stuff. You bought the fucking game. If you bought the exclusive game, you got that right, you. Oh, did you? 
I don't know. So I think if you bought five and you got the limited edition, you've got that. I mean, I think our boy Joseph Brutzek from uh, Statue of You got it. Is I really okay? Because I know that um, Prime One teased that pose for their when they got the license. So shit, oh, that Titty Twister saying that that um, Batmobile was two thousand dollars. Oh shit! Fucking hell. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> this, uh, I think Storm I think this is. Huh? I already know that that Mike Tyson on the right is from where he fought Peter McNeely from release from prison in 1996 mm. at the MGM Grand. Bad seams on the arms. Look at the seams on the arms. Where? Really bad. I hear oh, that. Oh, right there. Told and there. They're terrible. This must, this must be a figure, no? Yeah, this is meant to be two grand. Fuck me. Fuck off. Two grand for that. Jesus Christ. Uh, then you got the cool props. One third alien. Um, He's a bit fucking still, isn't he? Was he a soldier? Huh? So Queen walked in. What did you say? Yeah, salute, bitch. Fucking <laughs> is like fucking stand up straight, motherfucker. Yeah. Queen's walked in. <laughs> right. Got my bill. Then you got these pieces as well, which. Uh, uh, Rebecca was saying like she Rebecca, yeah, like oh, yeah. Rebecca was saying that she saw some of these. Um, they're by a company I think called Spacecraft or something, and um, okay. she says they look really shit in person. The life size bust looks terrible in person. Oh. She did a review on it, and it's really bad. So maybe stay clear of those. Who's this? Cool props. Uh, no, this is cool um, Spacecraft. Oh, okay. So you got I'm Mike as well. Uh, Mark 47, Spider Man, Captain Jack Sparrow looks awesome. Uh, Belle doesn't look so good. I don't think that she looks like she, she needs a holiday. Looks like she's fucking anemic. Jesus. Yeah. Um, I mean, that beast must be really mistreating her now he's fucking with her. Yeah. <laughs> that beast got what he wants now, you know. Um, <laughs> Life size group. There you go. Look at that as well. This is awesome. John Bethel, uh, Punisher, and TV show. That face is crazy. Damn. He looks like he could be on fucking Jersey Shore. No, it was the guy from... Um, I know. Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's the film in the box? Uh, not Rocky, but the other one. Do you know where... What's the one with... Um, where they, they fight at the end? Do you know, like... Um, it's like a comedy... Uh, I think it is like is is Sylvester Stallone, but then it's um, Robert De Niro as well, and they they fight. Oh, the uh, like it's where they they on their in their. They it's got on the shelf. It's on the shelf. Five. It's got the other woman, Kim Bassinger, when she's old, like I, she's like sixty. I don't, I, don't, I don't know the film. I, I I've seen it, but I can't remember what it's called. He's, he's the son in it anyway, and John Bethel. He's the what? He's the son. Okay. There you go. Skimming through these. These pictures look a lot better, actually. These ones are a lot cleaner. That looks much better. Mm. Colours look a lot hard. better, actually. Certain angles and certain, you know, things. It's oh, these, these pictures, these pictures are much better. Yeah, all the colours are called better on these. Actually, it still looks like a screwdriver, though. Um, and then you got the uh, controller there. Turn my parking, Luke. Uh, here you go. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, George. We're nearly there, man. <laughs> Dude, if I was watching this chat, I left it by now. I'm not even joking. Shit. Well, some people like them, and I tell you, like. So. How many people are viewing from when we started? I think twenty dropped out. Yeah, I'm not fucking surprised. <laughs> I want to leave, and I'm on it. <laughs> Don't be a dickhead. Jack Burton. There's the anorexic Lobo. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, me doing Lobo cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it, George. I can do it. I'll do it for Saturday. Um, that's the, uh, I think that's the sideshow one. And um, this shows that the fucking sideshow one is terrible because the Hot Toys one is much better than that. Uh, Thor. All right. 
There's more. Many more. No, no, I'm going through quickly. Able that's it. That's it. That's it. Back off. Get out of here. Next. Go. Right. Quick. Oh, we get we gained. Before I leave. We've actually gained like 50 subs since then. Um, yeah. So. There you go. There you go. It's just so many. There's just like ridiculous. Never seen anything. Well, like the thing it. is, I mean, uh, with with the way it was, there. with the way it was, I mean, the actual one six, they they really uh, dominated the market. They they really did. I mean, like, they actually dominated the show, and uh, a lot of the one six collectors were super super impressed uh, from the show. Um, so this is the uh, Lady Deadpool um, head. This and this is the exclusive head for her. Yeah, there is um there is a picture with it actually with a oh yeah yeah I've got that pen. I've got that at the moment that looks like that fucking would you call it from X Machina or whatever it's called X Machina oh yeah yeah it looks good though it looks well painted uh that's uh danger was it danger girl that's right yeah I don't like we really likes this didn't I don't it? know it's what really it is cost- I don't know what it is I don't like it. It's Jay Scott Campbell, but I don't know what uh, what it is. Well, that's why. That makes sense now. Uh, that then there's the Wolverine. So these are these are all these are all kind of leaning up to it, leading up to it. Yeah, uh, texture looks great yeah. on that. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Uh, you've got the uh, Nightmare Collection, which I actually really like to look at. I think it's really unique. Sideshow Live, this really looked nice. And um, is that Tana? From uh, heavy metal, yeah. Batwoman was very popular. She actually got a lot of yeah. attention. Uh, really like Evil classic statue, Batman literary scale, uh, Wolverine preview movie format, and uh, Boba Fett um, life size bust. There's the exclusive print there. I think that looks really nice. Yeah, it's a bit. Of, it's a bit motionless, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, then you've got the alien she's queen she's and jumping around. She sort of looks like she could be doing a rare. Yeah. Uh, there's the, uh, this is the bat. It's really, it looks really nice. Yeah. The contrast, the colors in that with a pale skin. I fucking love it. It looks so <clears> good. Well, this, 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 really this is really popular. I'm not surprised. I, I think it looks great. Mm. What's the base? Where's the base? Um, I don't know. It's just like, uh, kind of, on top of uh, broken something. <laughs> uh, then you got the uh, Lady Deadpool. Uh, the regular, yeah. For that, regular, right. I like the mask one. But and again, there's the Batwoman. These are going to jump all over the place. I'm unfortunately. Different head. Yeah. Is no, it? Cool. No, it's not yeah. a different angle. Yeah. Oh, maybe okay. Yeah, different angle. I think. Mm. Uh, Danger Girl, and then there's the Queen Alien. I think this looks great. It's just a shame that it's so it's one fifth. Looks great. Yeah, though. yeah, it does. It looks great. The base looks great. Um, again, I mean, because this is a Queen Alien, it's still going to be big. Watched a thing. I can't remember if it was a picture, and they basically showed the real one that they used or whatever. Oh yeah, they counted in. Like, so there was eight, like a double two vertebrae or something. This one has like about two hundred and seventy-four vertebrae. Well, I know it was double. It's like it was forty-one, and the this one has eighty-two or something like that. No, it's, not, it's like really. There's like loads. It's not. It's more than eighty on there. Yeah, I'm sure there's. Uh, like, then you're the uh, Batman Legendary Scale. There's the uh, chest piece. What do you think of that? Um, I think it's good, but I think the thing is, is I think they probably should have done it like, like ages, ages ago. ago. And I think the problem with this is now with the choice that you have from Prime One, um, I think it's too late for them. Yeah, you might be right. It's a good shout, really. Uh, there you go. There's the Batman Gotham Nightmare. This is fucking wicked. Yeah, I, love I, love this. This. I think this is really good. I, I actually thought this is when I man first back, isn't it? Isn't that who that is? Uh, well, there is a man back, but yeah. Um, I don't think it's it like but the thing is, is like um, when I first saw this, I actually thought it was like from Court of the Dead or something. It looks wicked. I like it. <laughs> Andrew Tynefold said he looks like he's got salt and pepper shakers on his belt. <laughs> he has this salt and there's pepper just in case he happens yeah. to run by a steak. And then you've got the uh, man bat. Yeah. Two choice to put man bat. 
See? Uh, uh, then you've got the Wonder Woman premium format. Problem is, is once you see like the Prime 1 head and you see the um, 1 6 scale Hot Toys head, you see this, you're like, eh. Yeah, it's true. It's exactly my feelings now. You're all right. You've just fucked it up. Same as the uh, Harley Quinn. I mean, same same thing with the head. It's just the front the hair. Great. The front front hair thing isn't working for me. They don't look delicate enough. They don't look. No. They look like big chunks of like ice cream that's fallen down. It's, you know, like an ice cream falling mm. down her face. Fucking Mr. Whippy all over her face. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks like that. They're just too well, thick and chunky. For me. I'll put some Mr. Whippy on fucking her face. You know. Anyway, um, armored Batman there. Again, look at his face. Look at his mouth. Looks terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah uh, here's the death stroke. Uh, it's probably as interesting as when the uh, fucking pre order went up. I mean, Bane. Ah, now we're talking. Bane, I, I, I really think, I really think this will be coming to me. I think. I well, think I, I think I think the Bane. I mean, this isn't a very good picture, and this is the one actually sideshow took. Um, but there's there's some pictures in there, and they look fucking wicked. They look really good. Yeah, I think it, um, I think this looks like I mean, There you go. There's Batwoman. Love it. I think she looks great. Huntress looks great as well. Face looks great on that. Yeah. I don't uh, know anything about the character. But no, well, really nice. I think Derek gave me a little crash course. I think it's something like she's in some other world. She's the daughter of Batman and Catwoman. Maybe. Okay. Maybe not. Anyway, um, then you got the... Uh, you got the uh, Killer Croc. Uh, yeah. you got the Ledger of Discal Batman there. I just think that now, you know, Prime One are putting it all out. I just think, I think Sideshow have lost their, and lost their moment with that, you know. Um, now that uh, Iron Studios, um, I think Prime One have, you know, really saturated the market with Ledger and Discal, like the sort of size. And I yeah. think, um, yeah. you know, stuff, yeah. Sideshow were teasing this like three, four years ago. And I think they should have taken it then. Uh, should have delivered. Derek says I'm correct. Yay! <laughs> what it was what? Um, the daughter of Batwoman and uh, Batman and Catwoman. Oh. Um, but he did. He was one who told me that. Yeah. And you got the Wolverine, which I think they should have just waited until he's painted. Sometimes I think that was the XM <laughs> ones I, as well. I just, I I've got, I've got to be honest, I just have to wait and see. I have to see about a paint job and I have to see about some other things. The only thing I'm interested in, though, is his, is, he, is it me or is his gloves incredibly short? Uh, could be the angle because he's got his arms back. Yeah, but it, you know, his gloves look short. He looks like he's wearing gloves that just go just slightly above the wrist. Does, mm. Doesn't Wolverine have like, things go right up to his elbow? Or is that, is that, is that wrong? Uh, he does in every version I have in my room, yes. <laughs> okay. But then again, he might be a different version, so he might, uh, because he's saying he's going to be the, the Magneto. The sculpt on it is looking, is, is, pr- is looking pretty nice to me. I mean, I, yeah, I'm yeah. loving the grit teeth and, the, and everything else. He looks, um, he looks quite, you know, the texture and stuff like that. I dig it. I, I, I've just got to wait and see how they go with mm. this, because there's, you know, it's, it's, it's there's an abundance of choices really with Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, Lady uh, Jane Foster. Sorry, I was going to say Lady Sister. Nice. You got Jane Foster. Looks nice. Uh, you got the uh, Spider-Man two and nine nine. I still actually have this on pre-order. That looks crazy. That. Uh, you need really. that would fit in your Spider Verse very well. Yeah, well, he's going to take up a whole fucking Not, cube. That one. That's a sexy looking piece. I've got to say that. I really, mm. I mean, the blues and the reds, the colours, the textures, the contrast. I fucking love that. I think. I mean, again, I don't have any nostalgia to it. I didn't read it when I was a kid. I remember the cover, the first I, one. Coming. Yeah, I, I had some of them. I don't really, really remember. I bought it, but I never opened the comic. Yeah. Uh, then you got the uh, Avenger assembly pieces, which I think these have come out really well. I think they have a lot of great. Uh, you've got the Iron Man, these are all the one fifth pieces, the uh, Captain America. Uh, they got them all together. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think I deleted. Fuck. I deleted the four picture, I think. I've got one later on. But he looks oh. pretty good as well. I just, I uh, think this is a good, 
are really well executed and i really believe that one fifth line is is making a serious play in people's collections now yeah. with some really strong pieces there are some incredibly strong one fifth scale pieces whether they be dioramas whether they be you know statues in general they just look fucking mm -hmm. one fifth there is some really good stuff i mean can you imagine if you're a mythos collector for example well the mythos you, um, has, the the mythos has come back but they're doing it one six what? now well, then it hasn't come back, has it? When it said before it's come back, it's quite six. Um, Lang, there's Susan there with the, um, I can't remember what it's called now, like K2. Queso. K203 or K302 or whatever it is, but they use the best thing in the film anyway, <laughs> for me. Uh, then you've got the nah, Alien man. Queen. I mean, the Vader piece. No, sorry, the Vader bit was the best piece, but then the uh, best character other than Vader was that fucking robot. Uh, you got the Group Marquette. And then you've got the uh, life size stormtrooper bust. Yeah. And the baby Groot. Then you've got Danger Girl. Uh, you got the uh, the Deadpools together. Show a little comparison. And then we'll come back to him. Oh. We'll come back to him. Uh, this looks really nice. She rah, And then you got the uh, the Hulk, which I'm not. <laughs> Not really a fan of this just don't like his he's got my eyebrows but i don't like anything else other than that it, you know, yeah, your eyebrows like, look like trying to escape your fucking head because his eyebrows look like they're trying to leave his head he's got that that haircut that the guy general zod has in uh, man of steel yeah <laughs> I, I i i think that the, the only my only critique of i mean the teeth and the grimace and things i i actually think it's a, a cool a different look <laughs> it's not i don't agree with it I think there's a little bit too much brown in the shading. I don't like mm. the brown. Personally, it looks like a gone off apple, and I don't like that look. Yeah. Well, uh, Richard, stroke... Richard said it looks like Holt's had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the, what's the thing that they say? Like, you know, slanted, can you raise your arms, all that shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, Boy E.T. said it looks like the Grinch. Uh, there's the... Uh, uh, Joker mask. Like I think that looks quite good, but I, I, don't know, I just can't. I wouldn't buy it. But it looks pretty cool. It's about it. it's about it. It's very like unique, it. and I do like the base on it. I do like all those cards. So I think that looks really, really cool. It's very ominous. I don't know what it is about it, but it's ominous. It's an ominous mm. thing. Uh, there's a side thing side view of the uh, Wolverine there. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is with this that'll put me off is the fact there's a sentinel fucking hand underneath it again. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the same as yeah. up, it? because it's going to be the scale of it's going to be off mm. from Magneto. So there you go. There's the. I uh, really like this. I, I I I really like this part. The um the uh, the head. Oh, What's he yeah. called? Head. Pool. No, the oh, head. Pool pool. Yeah, yeah, head. Pool. I really like that. I've, I think that's really great touch. Really love that, and I love the Vespa bit on the base as well. I'm, mm. I'm impressed with it. It's it's not something I'm attached to, but I actually prefer I think... I'd prefer her to the actual Deadpool. I think the Deadpool is just a bit too much. His pose is yeah, a bit too yeah. over the top, and it's, I know he is, but it's just a bit too much for me uh, yeah. personally. Um, yeah. Then there's a close up of the face, head pull, uh, and there's Vespa. Vespa looks fucking great. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that guy. He's like, yeah. Oh yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like it. better that. Yeah. I like blondes. It puts the lotion on I the skin, or he gets the hose again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shira, Batman, Swamp Thing. There we go. We'll come back to him. Uh, then we got the Hulk. Jesus Christ, look at the size of it. It's massive. Big. It's really big. I don't. Yeah, I don't man. think uh, that's going to fit in a cube. Best cube. Uh, anyway, um, then you got the Batgirl, Huntress. There you go, Lady Plasma, uh, uh, Captain Plasma. No, Gary was got like Gary, Gary was so upset. About Gary it. got well. Gary got well hard when he saw that, didn't he? Nah, he got upset. He's upset with that man. She's not. Oh, she's right. She's she's not the right. She, you know, get. You see, the thing is, is that you know these. You got to be very careful with, when you're doing these things because, you know, Star Wars like real like proper like Gary's a proper Star Wars fan, and he, mm. you know, the suit ain't right. The, it's not oh, really? shiny not shiny enough it's it's got it's something wrong with the legs he was telling me her legs are wrong there's loads oh, of things God. 
he isn't happy with. So he's like pissed because when he heard that it was going to be announced, he was like, yeah, I'm definitely buying it. Definitely day one, blah, blah, blah. You know, and I was like, okay. Oh, and it's then, Captain Phasma, not Plasma. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Feminist, someone else said. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. Well, is that, is, uh, is it Brown and a Tog? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He isn't, he isn't happy with the finish anyway. He's not, he won't be buying it now. So, uh, oh well. well, they'll adjust it for Gary. Because Gary Gary was actually announced on the uh, Sideshow chat, wasn't he? Good boy. I hope so. Yeah, they said, oh, our friend in the UK, Gary Speed, or Speed or Speedy, or whatever they, they mentioned him. And you know the other thing as well? Sorry, this is something I forgot to tell you. Um, Derek was taking a piss because we missed it. But do you know when they were doing all the codes for the Comic-Con? Yeah. And mm-hmm. there was actually one that was Rad Titan. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you that? No, nah, man. Oh, yeah, there was one that was actually Rad Titan. They posted it on Rad Titan. Yeah. Get, so send me a yeah, so Side, Sideshow had, uh, yeah, a uh, San Diego Comic Con code, and it was Rad Titan. Yeah, Damn, forget. Bro. I think it was only like 50 cents or something, but yeah. You've made it. We can fucking retire. Let's retire. We've done it. Yeah. We've achieved. We've done it. We, we are a code on the San Diego Comic Con. Uh, there you go. There you got the, uh, there you go. D2. Got Vader pulling up his trousers. He's looking for uh, some change. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, I swear I had 50 fucking P on me earlier. I swear he's looking, to in he's looking for those uh, <laughs> he's looking for those Weber's originals, isn't he? Um, is that a life size one? Oh shit, that's life size. Oh, these these are life size pieces. Hmm. Yeah, Jesus yeah, Christ. Fuck me. Uh, I don't. That looks like it's all print. Is that? That's not life size. I don't know. It's hard to tell. How can you with that's scale? Life size. That's life size. Okay, so that's not. Right. And you'll have a stroke in a minute. You'll end up with a Hulk face. Oh, maybe they're all life size. Fuck me. Oh, happy, uh, happy. Uh, JCG says the Rad Titan code was three dollars. Yeah, not that's bad. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take three dollars. Three dollars is better than fucking fifty cents. I tell you that. <laughs> um, life size Death Trooper. Uh, life size Boba Fett. Uh, whatever his name is, K three P. Whatever his name is. Uh, that's the premium format. Jay Nursa. Everyone's complained about the face, but I think it's one of their better phases, to be honest with you. But what sideshow? Yeah. Well, no, like um, the bell on... pieces. Probably a little bit more questionable. I mean, they're comics, they don't. I mean, their portrait is always pretty bang on. The movie pieces, I think they have more issues with. K2S, yeah, um, K2SO. Yeah, K2SO. I'll just call him K2SO. Yeah, Luke, Luke looks good. I think Luke looks quite does... good, doesn't he? Hmm, yeah, no, I, I like the look at that. He's got his nice, he's got his uggs on, you know. Um, good Harrison Ford I don't, I don't think Harrison Ford looks as good I think he looks a bit dull but then again that could have been a flash bleaching him a bit he does look a bit bleached around the face though there. that is identical that fucking thing to the one that we yeah. just reviewed Chewy. that is the same fucking piece is that the same piece in, well, the base is different <laughs> oh that's terrible <laughs> that fucking thing yeah. oh wow it looks a bit better painted, but then again, it's at the con, so it won't be. Yeah. It looks like a bit more differentiating in colour, you know? Tim through these. Then you got there Zantano, who uh, a lot of people are saying that looks like a tranny. Uh, well, I would I would take her out. I've got no issue. i tell you what, that uh, thin sort of legs, man. I'd wear her like a hat. Fucking tell you <laughs> that now. <laughs> Richard said that uh, Han Solo looks like uh, Dennis Quaid there. <laughs> Yeah, I love Dennis Quaid. I'd buy it. <laughs> and uh, close up on the mask. Nice. It's ominous, it's that. Got, there's something about it. It's very dark. Just, I can't life size. That looks great. Does look nice. Actually, Hulk. That looks Actually really looks better nice. there, the Hulk. Still looks a bit fluorescent. Yeah, I, think that's, I, think, I think that's because they've got it, you know, they're sort of stepped back a bit and you can't really see as much of that orange i really think that brownie orange is just you know oh here's my baby here oh, you is. like that one i like that one these pictures are nice these were these are good ones these might be um 
These might be Omar actually. Omar Fahala took a load of pictures. Um, museum esque. Check out museum esque. Mm -hmm. Looks like laces as well. I don't think that's gold. Certainly done. Yeah, and then, uh, certainly does. Anyway. This looks a lot better. Yeah, I know a great. lot of people were saying the uh, the skin tones didn't look very good uh, when they saw it in New York, but this looks much better. Yeah. Right, look at the nails. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That looks impressive. I might have to buy one just to piss you off. Yeah, you can uh. buy one. <laughs> I don't want one. Just, oh, there's enough. There's enough regulars to go about. I think in there. Yeah. How many are there? Uh, probably about ten thousand. I don't know. <laughs> Back look great. Oh, yeah, I think this looks really good. I'm. I'm. I'm sure. I'm. I'm confident this will end up in my collection anyway. At some point. I just think the. Um... The killer croc just looks a bit small for me. I'd like to see him in person just to uh it's it. Uh, it's very impossible from photographs to get any degree of scale. Apparently it's the seam on his head's really bad though. On Bane. Who? Bane's. Doesn't look that bad. I mean, like if you look at it there, it looks like they've gone along in the Banaclava sort of line, so hmm. And they have to see him, but again it's a hard one, isn't it? It's well, New York New York Comic Con. What's that? Derek Sorry, New York Comic Con. He's saying the Bane this is a, it's quite bad. Oh. Uh, okay. oh, so I'm trying to read a comment. And these are the uh, Stanley, uh, Stanley Lur, Lau, whatever his name is. Um, smaller pieces there. Got those there. You got him, her. Okay. Yeah, face doesn't look that bad there. I got no issues, man. A lot of people are saying she looks. A lot of people are complaining about that. Uh, that looks great. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. that's one of the ones. I don't know whether they probably thought it was going to be as popular as it was, but a lot of people are loving that. And that's my standout female. Other than I, I really like the red Sonya, which I haven't seen yet for some reason. There's the uh, the Joker there as well. The Joker. Looks good. Uh, it's a hard. Uh, yeah. You got him there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. I'm good. These are good pictures, actually. Yeah, yeah. Nice work here. Thank you. Thank you. Right. College. Just reach for the stars. <laughs> uh, you got the venom there. Doesn't look as bad, but still the texture just looks a bit. Yeah, I, I really need to see that one in person. Oh, it's a definite piece you need to see in hand. I won't change nothing, though. There you go. There's a new Vampirella, which is like the smaller version there. But mm -hmm. I just think that this, compared to the other two, is the weaker of the of the uh, three, I think. Yeah, I mean, the that's other a two, really, really The one strong. on the skull, I keep going on about it, one on the skull is great. And then the one yeah. on the... Um, Exclusive head. The, the, like, the orgasmic face head. It's very, very yeah. good. A sexy uh, thing. This is that heavy, heavy metal piece. Yeah. I tell you, who'd be up for that is uh, Tom. He loves he loves heavy metal magazine. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, Tom does. Uh, Skeletor, Shira, she... you got Evil Lynn, and uh, you got Toothless. Again, this was really popular. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen it. Uh, you got the Alien, Invictus, whatever he's called. Yeah, uh, then you've got the warrior. Yeah, it's the new like one fifth thing in it, one yeah. sixth thing, whatever it is. Uh, and life size pieces. Uh, Ray and uh, BB-8. Mm -hmm. uh, go through these a bit quick because there's quite a lot more. Where the fuck is Red Sonya at? There you go. No, no, she's in her own folder because that's there you go. That's all of those ones. Good. So we're going to go on to the main ones after. So, you know, chillax. It's long, bro. Oh, well, I did tell you, dickhead. I said to you it was going to be well long. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, you've, you've, there is a lot of doubles in here. There's a lot of the same pieces over and over and over again. Well, how about next next year I send you all the pictures and you edit through them for me? 
Yeah, it sounds like a better idea. At least I won't get 70,000 pictures of fucking... Well, yeah, but next, Harley next year, then, right? how about next year you, you download all the images, I just turn up the yeah, chat. Yeah. You know. Motherfucker. I, do. I don't need to. I get Brandon to do it. Yeah, you do your fucking chat with Brandon. I get Richard to do it. Richard will sort it out. <laughs> all right, so these are the Prime One pieces. Oh, fucking hell. I think I need more chocolate. Um, this is the Catwoman. Oh, uh, this is the uh, Batman XE suit. And uh, you're the uh, Megatron. Dino yeah, fucking Megatron. A lot of people like, crazy. crazy. Boy, like, but I was really impressed with that Beast Wars yeah. Megatron. And you're the uh, Wonder Woman training costume. I'm really surprised they went for this. Really surprised. Um... There you go. And they've also now changed their fucking things to look like Hot Toys. That's how Hot Toys do their little promos. They've changed it to look like that. Mm. Uh, there you go. So yeah. you got the Catwoman there. This was a big hit, wasn't it, on the day? It's very a lot popular. Of people were very very happy. popular. People were really liking it. Really happy with it. Um, then you got... So this is that uh, XE suit. This was the star for me, one of the stars of the show. Um, the prime <laughs> one. I'm, uh, I really like, this. really like this opposite the Mister Freeze because the bases are kind of similar. I just think it looks fucking unbelievable. And Richard's just far up there saying, "Don't you hate being brought into a domestic?" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, tell him, don't worry, mum. Tell him, tell him, mummy and daddy will still be uh, together in the morning. <laughs> And then uh, Andrew saying that uh, Andrew saying that Bane is equal equals Jill in a gimp mask. Yeah, yes, it's still gonna. Nice. That's still a compliment. Yeah, <laughs> I take it. Fuck me, I take it. I put a gimp mask on. Yeah, this is oh, the well, uh, Megatron, which I think looks fucking crazy. I think it looks crazy. I was super impressed with this. I, I really was. I mean, I got a lot of comments from people that were there that said it looked very toy like in mm. person, but. I can't, I mean, I can't see it from the photos, but then again, you know, always trust yeah, people's yeah. eyes, seeing it in hand, because it it's does tough, help. and it's also that, you know, this is based on a cartoon as well, so, mm, you know. Very difficult. You've got to do, you've got to try and jazz that shit up oh, no, so, so much. So there's the, uh, the, the mouth lights up, so there's it light, lit yeah. up, and there's it not lit up, yeah, and the eyes. Yeah, and the eyes, yeah. his eyes lit up. So. And there's the base there, someone got fucked up. Someone got, no, yeah, someone got, someone got a fucking sword to the eye, that's, it's all fun and games until you get a fucking sword to the eye, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and, and he lost his whole body. That's that's got to be pretty shitty too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I like this. I really like this. I like looking at it. Then you go. There's a Spider Man. People were annoyed that they didn't turn the lights on. What do you mean? In, what lights? The so the effect. Yeah, yeah. in um, Wonderfest or whatever it is, or the one that's next week. They put the lights on last year, and uh, in in San Diego they didn't. Uh, yeah, but it's it's not Prime One's date here. This is mm. their warm up. This is you got a guts piece. Yeah, I love this piece. At least this is one piece they can people can say yeah, he's well cockeyed because he actually is cockeyed, so it don't really matter. <laughs> yeah, true. I haven't seen it, but yeah, I've I've got it. I, I keep meaning to uh, to watch it all, but as I say, it gets well weird. It's really weird. I would need to muscle through it next time I've got a couple of night shifts. Um, then, so you've got the Catwoman. She looks great. Looks really nice. Uh, Catwoman looks uh, great. But I'm, I'm a little perplexed at why she's the sort of standout for me because I, I think that Batman X whatever suit is fucking crazy. Uh, then you, this is cool. Yeah, yeah. So this is Thomas Wayne. Um, this looks cool. Bruce Wayne's dad in another reality. Yeah. Uh, Flashpoint, was it? And uh, then you got the um, Green Lantern. Love this Lantern. Flash. And love that Flash. It's close up there, the uh, Megatron. That's a well, that's a well shitty picture. Yeah, terrible uh, for yeah. that. Ah. Fucking crazy how it looks. Lantern looks great. Lantern. Really lovely. People were saying this This was quite disappointing in person. At least they fixed the wall space. Said the, the colours just didn't really do it for them, and it was very flat. Uh, they just said in person, it just mm, didn't do it. Catwoman again. There you go. 
slash. So these will be done before anyway. So there you go. There's the uh, the, doc, the uh, Mr. Freeze next to. That's what I'm saying. Um, See, they sort of like go yeah. together. But I just think that I, I've not seen that before. I can't remember mm. that. That must be from the game, but I don't remember it. Bloodborne. Guts. Uh, Storm Shadow. There you go. Geralt. Uh, Yennefer. Uh, the same Shad- I can't remember his name now. Shadow. Dark Shadow. No. What's his name? It's Timber, Storm- in it? Timber's the wolf. And then. And he's fuck knows. Oh, he's Storm Shadow, and then he's um, Snake Eyes. That's it. Snake Eyes and Timber. And yes. then you got the fucking Guyver. There you go. Look at that fucking bad boy. <laughs> that, that is fucking awesome. I mean, the base on this as well. The uh, thing is, like Ramush, and uh, he's been fucked up with blood and guts, and the way they've done the muscle fibers in the, um, you know, the mm. actual like where he's cut right through that muscle and bone. That's just fucking nuts, man. I yeah, love it. I'll wait to see it in person when you get it. I really can't. What, how, how do you know you're going to see it in person? Well, why wouldn't I fucking see it in person? <laughs> we could divorce by then. Um, so that's all yeah, the prime one. You still get to see your kids, and these are one of my <laughs> kids. All right. Where are we? Where are we? There we go. So we're moving on to the last ones now. So uh, just to cheer you up there, Gio. No, no, it's not uh, that. It's just, uh, I, I got no problem with the time. Just show me something good. Stop wasting my time. Crap. I don't want to see. That'd be fine. What was wrong with all that? No, they were all fine. They were all oh, right. Well, I mean, the other, they, the other... they, were good, they were all good stuff. Yeah. I mean, they, right. the, the majority of that stuff was, was decent. All right. Well, where do we go from here then? So there are only a few pieces left, but these ones are the sort of main ones where uh, they kind of stood out. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. Uh, are you happy with this one? Let's have a look what it is. Can't see anything. It's black screen. There you go. Oh. I wish I knew more about what this character, who well, is. Well, I've seen, I've, this is a uh, swamp thing. So um, this is uh, the DC character. Uh, Man thing hero is the Marvel movie. character. I'm confusion when I was being told. He's a hero. He's a hero. He's like a... Well, he basically, he's like a scientist, and um, I think he goes to do something, and then he gets like they they break into his lab and fuck him up, and um, he he was working on some kind of. My boy Brandon's watching this. If you don't know your shit, you're gonna be fucked. Well, I know his name is uh, his name is Alec Holland, um, but I watched his name, is who? his name is Alec Holland. I watched oh, uh, I watched the Alec, I watched the film recently, and the film is fucking terrible it's well 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 <laughs> bad it is like i i watched some really bad films and i think it was like it's one of the, it's got to be two people it's either nix and garno or uh it's got to be the other one uh robert rachel is one of those two i talk about old yeah, films with quit. and oh, um man. one of those two i was talking about they're like yeah you gotta watch it and one of them also told me to watch yeah. um phantasm as well and i was just like yeah, I haven't seen it ever. And they're like, you got to watch it. I was like, oh, dear, I watched it. Yeah. Motherfuckers wasting my day. Um, so, yeah, it's one thing I watched. And uh, I watched the whole thing. And he's literally... Or Nick, I think it's Nick saying he made me watch Phantasm. Uh, but I think he told me to watch um, Swamp Thing as well. And when I watched That's it, he was just literally like, bad man in rubber costume <laughs> jumping through the swamps. Um, there you go. I really... I mean... This looks great. I don't know mm. much about this, but fucking I think, great. I, I think, think he's meant to be underwater, really. Well, he's, he's in the swamp. Is he underwater? He's in the swamp. Oh, right. Yeah. That's why it's called Swamp Thing. Not, yeah, but he's I'm not called, he's not called Water Thing, is he? Yeah, but <laughs> what I'm thinking is, is that the way that he's moving and the way his things are like, it's either wind or in water. Oh, you mean he's actually fully he's underwater? Like... Yeah, I, I mean, that's the question. Is he, is he underwater or is he sort of just coming out of the water because it's either out. sort of a windy effect or it's a current effect. No, I, I mean, it, it looks great. Mm. I don't know anything about it, but the piece looks fucking great. It looks big. Yeah. It's like a big fucker and all. Yeah, a little turtle, little snapping turtle on the base. <laughs> I, do, I, do. I do like me some yeah. snapping turtle. And a very iconic pose as well. But the funny thing, though, is uh, I do remember um, Sideshow, uh, so Prime 1 uh, put up a teaser for this. 
So I'm wondering whether now there's going to be a Sideshow 1 and a Prime 1 one, or this is actually one that Sideshow worked with Prime 1 or whatever it is. So many pieces. they got so many things going on. All they'll do is they'll put their, their one on the back burner for a year. We'll, we'll let the other stuff come out and then get onto this when this is out and start settling and fine. You know, and mm. there's, there's, there's a lot of, there's got to be a fair bit of back scratching going on in that fucking oh, now. There always will be. It'll be, we're releasing this. Okay. Well, we'll just hold ours up then yeah. for a bit. You know, they, they, they're not going to start getting into direct competition with each other and releasing pieces at the same time. You're just not going to see it happen. Mm. But no, I do. I, I think I'm really impressed with this piece. This is one of my favorite pieces in the actual, in the whole convention. I really, really liked it. Um, yes. Yeah, beautiful looking thing really also because i mean i mean with this piece you can uh you can go with this if you're uh a movie collector and if you're a comic collector you can do it on exactly. both levels yeah. Yeah, um, it's, it's great when that works out isn't it yeah i like it when that happens. like it when the plan comes together i'm i'm sort of doing that with this deadpool at the moment it's the same it ticks both boxes for me yeah yeah you know so i'm really i mean that that's one thing looks really decent i mean it's full of textures and some crazy paints and stuff on there it looks really nice yeah uh we're going to show thalos next okay because i know we touched yeah. on it but uh we will show him and uh we've only got a couple more george it's okay you've been you've been strong man you've been good uh up, off your face <laughs> really quick. so this is the thalos on throne and again we saw this uh, a few places, uh, there was a convention recently, I think it was the D23 convention, which was a Disney one. Um, yeah. So there's this. And there's a lot of videos. There's one on our YouTube channel at the moment of this, and it looks fucking unbelievable. It looks absolute. I'm not going to lie to you. I've, I've got to be honest, the first, um, you know, when I heard about the edition size, I uh, I buckled under like the total lease, right. you know, being, being four thousand two hundred. Details on that bit. Yeah, I know. And I buckled under it, and uh, I put it up for trade. I like put it, I I buckled. I put it up for trade, and uh, you know, thankfully, people just fucking wasted my time with like, you know, oh, I've got the pieces and I want to trade them, but oh, yeah, shipping and this, that, and the other. I was, you know, it was a ridiculous deal. I mean, I think even fucking, I think even Sanchez come on and was like, this is the deal of the fucking century. You better get this deal like quick before he, this geezer changes his fucking mind. Mm. And in fairness, that's exactly what happened within about a week. You know, I found out some information and I just uh, pulled it and I'm glad that I pulled it off there and I didn't trade because after seeing the, the, the video, I, you know, I'd be devastated. You know, I really would. Mm, detailing I'm those sure. is absolutely crazy. I mean, uh, if they if they deliver on this, it's going to be it's going to be a well beater. It's going to be great. Look all the textures on his they arm. Listen, if they, I, I I know what people are going to say, but if they if this piece comes out, the pro, pro, production piece looking like that is Sideshow's best ever piece. It will be. I'm not talking about collectability. You can forget all of that. I know the numbers are really high. I'm just talking in terms of quality. I, I don't think it can be beaten. I don't think I've seen anything that can beat it as yet. Mm. It is absolutely just rammed full of details, absolutely crazy details. If it comes out looking as good as this, quality-wise, it will be definitely the best piece I've ever seen made by anybody. That's a picture I love. That, that's, that's, still... that's the money shot. Pardon? Yeah, I know, man. It's the textures on that body as well. Them strips of different colours, the muscles and textures. The you know, the mixture of with the smooth metal and the, the, the multiple tones in the gold uh, is fucking crazy. I ain't see anything like it. It's madness. Um, you know, I really do believe that. I, in my, uh, you know, I've I've been lucky. We've seen we've seen fucking a lot of pieces, and I, you know, if it comes out looking like this. I can't think of anything that's better, Nick. Can you? No, no. I mean, uh, not. I mean, not on that scale. No. no. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's tough. I mean, uh, as I say, the just all the level of details everywhere. I mean, look all the cracks there, all the different colours in the cracks, uh, the heads. I mean, like that head is great. The teeth. If they come out, the teeth come out like that. 
uh, everything. I mean, if, if, is a good, but is a, the only problem is there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Massive, yeah. There are a lot. There are. I mean, and I, you know, I, you, that's their, that's going to be their job. That is going to be their their project. Mm. But you know, this is the this is the biggest. Um, you know, this is the biggest promise that you know any statue company's ever shown me. And if they fuck it up and they don't deliver it, I'm done. I won't buy. I'll dash me finished. I will not invest that type of money with them ever again. So yeah, you know this is this is this is the final. This is the final round. You got you got one chance and a KO shot. Otherwise, I'm I'm walking away. I'm taking my money with me, and I'll buy from other people that I know deliver on a regular basis without any issue. I need this to be, you know, as good as what I'm looking at. And if it isn't as good as what I'm looking at, then you know, the questions need to be asked, dude. I yeah. just hope it that I hope it I'm very impressed. Listen, I'm super impressed with it, madly impressed with it. I mean, I, I I was I would have been I can assure you that if I'd have done the trades that I was thinking of doing for my eight hundred dollar uh balance, if I'd have done that, I would have been crying my eyes out mm. after seeing the video. I'd have been, oh my god, what have I done? I even said to you, didn't I? I'd beg borrow and steal and try and get yours up here. Yeah. Anywho. Um and then we got the red Sonia, which uh, if this was a real woman, I think your wife would be in trouble. Oh, this is my this is my woman all day long. She looks like that red. woman from fucking Game of Thrones, though, doesn't she? The fucking the wildling. Not really. Yeah. I mean, she's red headed. She's got the same sort of hair and stuff like that. But I mean, that body, man, that body is built for sin, man. That is, mm. a, that is a wrecking machine woman right there. <laughs> That's right up. The problem with this piece, though, I mean, is it does look amazing, but um, the problem I think with... it's the best looking Sonia I've seen. I swear to God. Yeah. I think it is really, really impressive looking piece. Just every everything about it, I really, I'm super impressed with it. Really, I'm impressed. And the sword yeah, yeah. goes down and into the fucking dude's eye is a really nice, vicious touch, yeah. which I really but I just think as well, though, that we, we were saying this last year about the other one. Yeah, it has to be delivered. I mean, they didn't on the last one. That's the bottom line. That's a fact. You can, you know, people that have got it, you know, they can say it's great and they like it and everything else, but you you can't deny that it's not. I mean, and it can't be because it's it, you're talking about someone who's paid thousands of dollars to paint the fucking thing compared to people that are paid, you know, not like the same price to paint fucking four thousand of them. So it, it's it's a different uh, it's a different ballpark completely. Nice. The uh, the boots are really great. Cool. I do think it's too soon, though. I just think it's too Definitely. soon. I think it's so, like, it's just like, you know, the be your bed ain't even fucking gone. You know, it's not even got cold yet. And well, I don't even know. One. I don't even know if the, um, I don't even know if that one's sold out. That's the thing. I don't even know if you could go on to Sideshow and buy it. It's just so soon. I don't understand. I don't know if there's a license there. If the people, you know, the the, the company that that sides have the license for the Red Sonia, uh, Dynamite. Yeah, I don't know if they're like, you know, you need to release a piece every year or whatever else. I don't know what the situation mm. is, but I mean, I, I I love the fact that all three of them look very very different. I mean, I think this one, um, but it's hard, isn't it? You're right. You're completely right. When you start getting ahead of yourself, going, "Oh, it's the best this, that, and the other." Apparently, you know, the uh, the original, yeah, sorry, the um, the snake, the one with the snake, is uh, yeah. the regular. Yeah. Is a limit. It's limited stock. Yes. So, and it's, a, it's an edition size of three thousand, and it's limited stock. And they're offering free US shipping at the moment. So basically, you know, right. so. They, that must have sold well. You know, if, if it's on limited stock, they've sold 3,000, they've sold the 1,000, whatever, of uh, uh, exclusives. So, you know, it's sold well. So that's why they're making another one. Yeah, I mean, you can't argue with the business part, the, the business aspect of it. And it is, listen, it is a fresh sculpt. It's completely, all the three red Sonyas are completely different. Yeah, because stitching I mean, yeah, on the hands. You know, you've got a little bit of the similar type of bra effect going on. Um, you know the the changeling bra thing um that all three of them i think have a similar sort of thing but they're mm -hmm. all completely different sculpts i mean you can't really knock it it's not a variant in fair you know what i mean in fairness it isn't a variant it's a, it's a brand new fucking piece so yeah yeah 
and it does look outstanding and that's that's my kind of woman right there see that oh yeah she's super sexy i might have to, the, uh, you know, I'll have to look over this chat later and just turn the fucking sound off and have a little <laughs> a good look well you can listen to my voice you know i know you like that sometimes yeah. uh there you go I... There you go. Wow, what was that one? There you go. Do you know that, that picture that was on a couple of things ago with the woman next to it? Yeah. Uh, is that the creator of it? Uh, I think she's the painter. All right. She's a painter or a sculptor. Mm. I'm not sure the name, I'm afraid. Cracking job, though, that on that piece. Really beautiful, mm. beautiful looking piece. Oh, it was stunning. Super, super stunning. I think, but that, that is the problem is that, you know, we, we are like gushing over it we but it you know we, it we were here last year same place that's that's, that's the only issue that's the only same issue same I have. Shit. Is we... and then it came out if you look at our comments on most of the videos you don't comment on youtube but mine it's just like what the fuck happened mm. what happened so this is the oh. uh, last piece and then we're there so um you know <laughs> sideshow went out and uh showed their uh magneto so this this is just before they got to the con and um you know just did a little teaser saying you know here's a little bit of helmet and then going yeah here's a little bit of uh sentinel base and uh there's the con that's the first time we kind of saw it you know mm -hmm. even though i did see a concept quite a long time ago but um yeah <laughs> there's on the the yeah, sentinel head and um you know, just get a better one too. There's the face. Uh, it looks a bit like M. Bison. Jesus. Uh, and then there's close up of the face there. Trying to get a good one to sort of like finish on. Uh, to sort of start talking about it as a sentinel base. Uh, that looks quite like the old comic <laughs> I think I've said this before and it led to fucking all sorts of fucking yeah. drama. It led to all sorts of drama and fucking shit cunts getting mouthy. But I I am, I, um, <laughs> I um, you know what I mean? Fucking keyboard warrior mug, mugs. Jesus Christ. But I, I think this has a similar um, pose and look to the, not like, um, I think it looks similar in pose and stuff to the Koto, the Kai one. Mm. Um, yeah. With the the right hand, the way it is, the left sort of hand out like that. Well, the it's body, also their original right comic is a bit like that. And then the hat, the head, especially that's turned to the side. Um, I think it, you know, I I think it had a lot of you know elements that I mean, I prefer the coat one personally. Um, it wasn't actually, it was actually a compliment more than it was a criticism. Um, <sighs> it's, do you know what it is, dude? I think it's really, it's really hard, and I, I'll tell you why. I think that this piece was teased and and promised for like three mm. years from every comic con it was like yeah where's Magneto? yeah, yeah we well also here? they're going to be uh they've been doing it for juggernaut as well um yeah. but i think as well what you yeah, what you're getting to is um yeah i, I agree that this piece i think it's it a bit destined. outdated it's destined i think it's outdated and i think that you know they have been teasing it for, for a few years um but i just think that this this, uh, this sentinel base um i just think yeah it, it, you know if they released this five years ago it would have been um you know a really really amazing piece back then but i just think times are changing a bit and i just don't think there's enough there uh with it i just think it's it's like oh okay but if you then look at all the things that have been released there's like um uh all those custom pieces those custom pieces they 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 knock us out of the park. Yeah, they they they're much better than this. Um, I totally agree. And I've seen I mean, I there's, there's think... probably about five, six, seven custom pieces, and at least at least yeah. three of them are much better. At least three of them, uh, easily. I I don't. To be honest with you, I don't. Um, I, I all the all the custom pieces of this I've seen are better than this for me, personally. I think um I think that Daniel Bell's one. I think it's the Royal Collecting. Brotherhood, I'm, I'm not too sure about yeah. you know, the exact yeah, RCB, details. Yeah. But, but that piece, you know, that piece is what this piece should have been. Mm -hmm. 
that is what they should have been delivered. If you want to do it, if you're going to do it after three years of hype and promises and, and it's going to be out and it's going to blow you away, you wait and you see, and then you show this after like, you know, all those custom pieces and those, you know, those individual projects have come out, they've been made and they are f- really exceptional. They are yeah, really, yeah. I mean, it looks like a, an, a bad imitation for me. I Listen, I've, you know, I don't know what the price point of this is going to be, but if you go back a couple of pictures, let's go back for a start. Go back a few pictures. So let's let's go back and, and just look a little bit closer at this for a, for a minute. I've got a real problem. Stop. I've got a real problem with the color difference between the helmet and the head. And the fact that that is like a matty type of helmet is not very shiny. It's not very, it doesn't look like a proper armored helmet. I don't like that. And then go back again. They've they've jazzed up the suit a little bit. They've made it look a, a little bit more modern. I think they should have gone with a little bit. I think they should have done, gone with a classic. I think they should have gone with a classic um, uh, uniform rather than make these changes um, and it not really look like any Magneto that I know really too well. I also don't like that bit that's underneath his chin. Do you see the guard that goes across the chest and o- over the shoulder? Hmm. But it just looks really cheap. I don't like the material that that looks like. I've not got a problem with the, the custom cape. And I, I don't actually surprise me. A lot of people have got a problem with the body sculpt, saying that he's, he looks malnourished, he looks very small, and he, you know not particularly muscular in any way. I've got really no issue with that because there's a lot of Magneto that I read where he's not jacked to shit like that. Yeah, yeah. There are, I, I completely can get what sort of one they're going with. They want him to look a little bit older. I'm hopeful that there'll be a switch out head. There'll be a couple of switch out arms, some other things that they can go to, to bring this a bit more to life. Yeah. But I, I agree with you completely. I think this is three years too late. I think three years ago, this would, would have been a world beat. Mm. I think this people would have been very happy with it, but I just think it's been, it's just been delayed for far too long. Sure. And then the, the deliverables just haven't met because everybody else is make it, making it look, um, not as good as theirs. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. As I say, there are just too many versions around that are delivering a lot more, and there's so many more dynamic uh, pieces around out there. And Age of Apocalypse one looks really nice as well. Mm. I mean, that, that, that the sculpt. I mean, the sculpt there looks good on the shoes. Sort of shin guards working up. That looks really nice. Yeah. That's, you know, I mean, yeah. there's nothing wrong with the piece nice. as such. Like, uh, I don't think it's painted bad. I don't think it's sculpted bad. I just think it's. I just think it's, I just think it's lacking. I just, when you see all the others, uh, if you were to then line them up and say, you know, this is what the one done by the uh, the market leader. If you would probably, if you if you were to find someone who knew nothing about collecting, and you you gave them a choice of all the custom pieces, and you threw this in there, and you said to them, which one of those is done by the market leader? None of them would go to this. No, I agree. It's a good point, but I'd completely agree. Mm. I completely agree. I mean, um, you know, the problem, uh, do you know what it is? I, I, I think you're right. I think three years ago, everybody had an idea about, you know, making a great Magneto. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody else just got theirs out so much faster. Sideshow just delayed and delayed and delayed and hyped and yeah, and wait, it's going to do this. I promise that. And once you make those. Once you cause that hype, dude, it, there's no winning. The only way that piece would have got away with that level of hype, right, is if the quality in it was was like what Thanos Marquette was like or what the Daniel Bell um, Royal Brotherhood one looks like. Then you could probably turn around and say, actually, in fairness, it was worth the wait. Jesus Christ. Well, I think the other side of it is going to be that, um, you know, a lot of these custom pieces are very difficult to get hold of. Uh, unless you're in, Very unless you're in, um, or unless you're in Impossible. some some secret society and and whatever else, a lot of people aren't going to be get hold of them. I mean, like some of the custom pieces I've seen, I can't get hold of because you know I'm not allowed to be. I mean, yeah. I'm not allowed to be in the group because apparently I'm seen as some um, like journalist type figure because I post on this on this on the chat every week, so they won't let me in the group. Um, so you know. I, you know, yeah. it's, it's not something. So some people are just going to be like, "Well, I'm not on Facebook," um, and some people won't even have seen all of the other pieces. I mean, we've shown most of them on the chats, but not, you know, we get a thousand views a week or whatever it is. So 
you know, a lot of people are going to miss them if they're not on there. Uh, the forums get a lot of movement, but they don't show customs apparently on the forums. So, you know, you, a lot of people are not going to be aware of them. So that's the other side of it. So they're just going to go, oh, there's a Magneto. There's no cost. Yeah. There's no uh, quarter scan Magneto other than um, XM. I can't afford XM, or I don't like throwing pieces. I want yes. this piece, and, and 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 their choice is going to be out of XM, which also is very hard for people to get hold of. Yes. Um, no, so this this is this is accessible. This is the most accessible oh, piece for collectors. So this is going to uh, this is going to sell out. This is going to sell well because oh, yeah. that's what people can get. You know, that's why. I don't. I agree with you. I don't think this piece is bad, but I don't think this piece is a 2017 hit. I think this is a 2014 hit. That's what I think. I think it's three years too late, and it shows. I don't really like the details on a Sentinel base either. I've got to be honest. I'm not digging that that head hole, really. Um, it's just, it's, I don't think it's bad. I don't think any of it's terrible. I agree with you. I don't think it's terrible. I just don't think it's it's delivered. Mm. Well, there's also and the, uh, someone's asking on the thing why, you know, these things have been delayed so much. Well, Magneo is likely to be delayed due to the uh, issues with Fox. Yeah. The li- exactly licensing that, yeah. with Fox. Uh, Disney, Disney don't own um, the movie rights for um, X-Men or a lot of the others. So basically that, because they don't own the movie rights, they don't want to promote the movies in any way. So they won't issue the licenses uh, for a lot of these pieces yeah. uh, because yeah. they're trying to cock block Fox. So the Fox fails so that they get their licenses back. That's their, their kind of plan. Yeah. That's why we, that's why we ain't seen Silver Surfer in the fucking uh, Avengers films next in the Infinity Wars. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, you're, you're 100% right. Right there. So, yeah. you're, you're 100% right. It's not, it, it isn't Sideshow's fault in any way that, that uh, well, we don't know 100%, but we could get guess that it is due to those issues. So, mm. and I mean, that's the problem. Custom people can work around that. They don't well, custom people, they, they don't need to care. You know, no. it's like, well, um, Sideshow may make a Star Wars piece or whatever, and uh, Disney may say, well, actually, well, XM are making Star Wars pieces, and Disney are saying to them, nope, you need to change that head, you need to change this. Uh, the braids on um, Bubba Fett are wrong, you need to change those braids, you need to do that, you need to do this. And it's been delayed so much because uh, Disney just keep delaying and saying, nope, that, that's wrong, this is wrong, that's wrong. And, uh, you know, licenses are a pain in the ass. And uh, Disney, if Disney say, well, there's, there's a hold on, XM piece, and on uh, X-Men pieces, then there's going to be a hold on X-Men pieces. There's nothing you can do about it. We, and we know we that do, there, there was. There was, yeah, there was. Uh, but then if you, uh, but then there was a, there was a, a bit of a loosen about very recently. Um, but that's just how it is. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. But then, as you say, with like, with if you if you're custom uh, makers, then you just are going to make that piece. Who's going to stop you? All right. So, so let yeah. me ask you. Let me ask you a question. You don't have a Magneto in your collection. You like X Men. You pretty much like Magneto. So, what Magneto are you going to buy? You've seen that. That's a price that's going to be fairly accessible. Payment plan options, like you've already said. It's a premium well, I've been, format. I've been offered um, seven hundred dollars. I'm assuming yeah. it's not going to go beyond seven hundred dollars. Well, you like to you like to think that. Um, I was offered a couple of uh, custom pieces, which I turned down. Uh, the prices of custom pieces can be quite expensive, especially if you don't get there right and early on. Um, yeah, I think if I had to go through uh, which magnetos are there? So there's that one. Um, it's one Royal probably Brother. the Daniel, probably the Daniel Bell one. I think's the best one. Uh, there is yeah. another one which is the um, uh, Daniel Hines one. Um, but to be honest with you, I prefer the Royal Custom Brother one. Has one beats it over that. To be honest with you, Daniel and Bell's uh, sculpting is another level. Huh? There's a Mad X one. The Mad X one, I'm not really a fan of. That's the old one, where he's on the uh, the bones. Yeah, he's hovering that one, on the that one. That one goes for shitload of money, and I don't, I can't see why but that's just yeah. me that's another option in it as well there's that one there's the AOA the thingy one there's the xm one there's the new xm one there's this one mm. just wondering where you would invest your money 
since you're probably going to be in the market for a, a Magneto, I'm curious to know where you're going to go. Now um, you've seen this. I've no, I've no, uh, I've no desire to buy a Magneto. No. Oh, yeah. I've no desire to have a Magneto in my collection hmm. as a character. So the investment then would, if you were to buy one, would have to be reasonable. Sure. Or a trade or something, you know. Um, I'm always partial to a trade. But I was offered, um, I was offered the um, uh, the other one, not the um, broadcast and broadcast. I was offered one for the uh, Mech Zangief, and I turned it down. Which one? The uh, the one from Danny Hines. That Danny Hines did. Which one's that one? Age of Apocalypse one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got the ponytails, he's got a floating. It's about 30 inches, it's massive. Massive piece, yeah. yeah. So okay. that's it, really. That's, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's all the pictures, then. Let me just go double check. Oh, there's some more hot toys. You want the hot toys? No, thanks, dude. Any comments? <laughs> uh, let me just double check that. Uh, oh, the, oh, fuck, I can't bother doing any more of those anyway. Uh, ba 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 ba. All right, so talking about Fox, damn it, Fox. Uh, yeah, I mean, the uh, happy JCG saying that uh, Sideshow should have used the delay to improve the design. Look at the competition out here and bring your A game. And they see all the custom pieces, they know all the custom pieces that are being brought out. Um, yeah. They know what's coming out. They know. So they, you know, they have a license. They could take take ideas from custom pieces. Um, custom artists ain't got you know, a leg to stand on in that respect because they've got the license. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Finish that last bit. Uh, no, that was it, really. Well, were you saying that they know the... They know what the competition is. Well, they they, they, they know what the competition was, and then they still release that piece. You know, they they've seen, they they obviously see what pieces are coming out. They see they they're on they're on Facebook. We know they're yeah. on Facebook because we talk to them. So basically, when um, you know they they've seen all these like ones coming out, they're super impressive. You know, then they they put their one out, and it's like, ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I just think it looks like it looks very similar to the pose of their original one. I don't think there's. I don't think it looks much different. Am I? Am I going crazy? Or let me just Google side it's show. The original combi kit's a difficult one because it's it's sort of like got the cape sort of balancing and holding him from the back, and I think he's got one leg knee bent up and the other leg straight, and it sort of falls into the cape. It, 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 he definitely has the outreached hand and the other arm back. So I get where you're going with that. I get what you're saying. I mean, honest to God, I, I swear. I mean, I, maybe I'm going crazy, but I think Koto is as close with the flowing, with the way that the cape is and the way that the body is turned, especially the head. That's what I find very difficult is the head. The body is like side on. The head is like turned completely around. Mm. Um, you know, I just, I think that, I think the, what the, the better ones there, the, you know, like we were talking about the Heinz one and the fucking Bell one have, he's more straight on. He's like, well, that's, that's you know, the original, different. that's the original sideshow one. Yeah. You see what I mean? It's, it's got the, it, the, the left hand is down and back and the right hand is up as opposed to left and right. But yeah, get what you're saying. And then the right, the left le knee is high. And the let the other leg is straight and it goes falls into the cape. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but he's looking head on in he in that picture. Type in Koto, type in Koto Bikia one and then put that up against and then with the mag with the the, the thingy magnia. I can't and you'll see what I mean. I can't put them both up. Well, just show me the Koto one. Well, the Koto one. Um there you go, Koto. So. It's a really nice piece. That's a Koto one. What? Yeah, that's in the box. Have you got it like, have you got like one without the box behind it? And one less head on. There you are. So you see what I mean? By the, the body is straight out, the left hand is up, the right hand is down, and his head's turned towards the hand. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? I mean, that's really nice. That is a beautiful, 
that is a beautiful piece that co one i really like that one six i'd probably buy that if i was going to buy magneto one six that or the bowen i quite like the bowen as well yeah yeah okay cool beans but you know what I mean? huh my hair's good well, that's quite simple like all over the place where i've been wearing a hat early on oh shit man i'm fucking aching i tell you that all right that's better <laughs> put my hat back on i can put the wolverine mask on now actually <laughs> It's been good, man. We got through it. It's been good. Yeah, well, I, I actually think I actually think, you know, like um, I actually think they, it was a good show. I actually really do. I think there's a lot. I think quality wise, mm. it's a big movement from last year. I think so. I think it's a massive. Yeah, yeah no, I definitely. I mean, the uh, the call of the deadline was super impressive. I think um, Red Sonia was super impressive. But then again, as I say, she was last year. Um, also, the uh, Swamp Thing uh red sonia uh danos looked great Fabulous. um that bat, bat woman looked great um that yeah that um bat man bat thing looked great you know there's so yeah, there's loads of amazing battle. pieces there's loads of really really great pieces so i think you know it's just uh it was a better year for sideshow than last i really do i think they've they've really put their best foot forward. I think they're showing some really good shit. I mean, yeah, they've made another Wolverine and Magneto was underwhelming. It's not a terrible piece, but it's underwhelming considering mm. that else is available. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of good highlights there. I mean, you know, you've got to, uh, you know, you've got to go with what you think is best. And now we've got Wonderfest next week and then we've got Singapore as well, which you're going to be there for, aren't you, bro? Hopefully, hopefully. Still trying to work it out. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, still trying to get Derek to go. He's been difficult. He's been hard to get. So, Sorry, uh, Derek. Sit and go, man. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm still working. I'm still working out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. What's uh, Kevin asking? Where's all the dolls? Oh, get fucked, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a religious man. You can't speak like that. He'll, he'll get offended. I'm a religious man. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, it's been emotional. Um, so thanks for watching. That was about yes. three hours of, uh, of of my time. I'm never going to get back. Um, never. Never, ever. Never going to get it back. Yeah, I could have spent, I could have spent that time being, being very productive and setting up my fucking Deadpool instead. So, uh, <laughs> should I, should I get, should I get, actually, you can't even see it anyway because it's all fucking Commodore 64 graphics on my phone again, isn't it? Yeah, it's fucking. I don't know why it goes so glitchy. Is my phone gl well glitchy, isn't it? I can't see, man. You're like about an inch big. Yeah, well, I've got details in there. All right. I won't bother putting it on because I'll probably end up dropping it because I'm tired. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. And uh, yeah, it's up there. You see it? Just. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, again, thanks for watching. Keep watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let us know what you think. Let us know what your piece of the show was. Uh, let us know what you think we're talking about crap about what's Magneto. Yours? And uh, what's, your, huh? what's your piece of the show? Pick one. Mine? Ooh. Um, I was pumping. Yeah. I think something surprised me a lot. And Red Sonja. They're the two that surprised me a lot. All right, I'm going with Thanos. I'm sticking there. Well, you know, but Thanos something something that hasn't Thanos. been something that wasn't shown before. Uh, okay, that definitely that the court the court of dead stuff that uh, Odian, he fucking crazy that was. That's oh, yeah, fucking yeah, insane. Yeah. That is impressive. Yeah, yeah, that's my choice. That's my pick. No, no, I'll take that. I'll take my no. back. No, 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 I'm joking. All right, <laughs> thanks, guys. Take care. Peace.